Hello everyone. That's how I decided to start today, apparently. Are we on? We're on. Are you sure? Yes. Are you double sure? Because we, yes. we, we spent a, we spent the start of a stream saying hi and then nothing happened. Are you sure sure? I am sure sure. I've got everything unmuted and it's wonderful. Okay. Hello! Hi, hi gamers. Um... Welcome to gaming on an extremely, um, uh, extremely monumental. Oh, an extremely monumental and somewhat controversial day in gaming. Uh, I oh, think we all know much. what I'm talking. I think we all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, Breath of the Wild Two, <laughs> uh, direct does not sh yep. yet show playable Zelda. And, yeah, and that's... Ganon Ganondorf yeah. is still a dehydrated twink. I understand we're all very upset about both of these factors. I am completely there mm -hmm. with you. Um, if I can't put my dickle between Daddy Daddy Ganondorf's croissants, I don't even know why I'm here. <clears throat> However, um, you can make Lego cars in game now. Woohoo! Wait, really? I, I haven't actually watched something. the trailer yet. Oh, you, 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 you stop. Don't stop the stream, just pause. Just keep staring at Butterfinger. Go watch it right now. <sighs> I need to talk to you about this. Do it. Okay, hold on. Re required watching. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for, um, streaming this. Are you gonna stream it or are you gonna put it on your other, on, you, you can just keep it on Butterfinger. That's true. Keep the camera on Butterfinger, watch it on your phone if you have to. Yeah, we named the Space Hamster Butterfinger, by the way. Mm -hmm. I had a nice deep lore reason. I figured that our shepherd would um, really miss home and really miss Earth. And really want to harken back to something that they loved back on Earth. Um, but the real answer is that... I don't want to get in trouble with Blizzard. <laughs> um, yeah. They had a perfectly good Space Hamster I could have named him after, but I actually kind of... I kind of don't want to give him props right now, all things considered. And, all right, I'm watching. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep up. I'm gonna keep up engagement. Mm-hmm. Oh, bye, Mister. No. Mister is not interested. Mister is not interested. Mister the cat, my arch ne nemesis, my bad time soldier, my rotten boy. We are... Is that Matt Mercer? Cosmic... How did you get that so fast? I did, I did I'm pretty... it on TikTok. I'm pretty good at that kind of thing. <laughs> Damn. I need to listen to more Critical Role. I don't even watch Critical Role. I could just tell it was him. Mm -hmm. So is he voicing Ganon? Yeah. I don't know. Keep watching. <laughs> for those of you at home oh, who are looking for a timestamp on this, oh, what direction? Lego Tell boy. Mhm. Mm Lego boy. Um, he dehydrated again and just went, Bleh! and now Link's falling from the sky, going wee. Yeah, yeah. That pretty much sums up the game. Aside from uh, Zelda also falling, everyone's falling all the yeah. time. And now they're holding boating's fucked up ill. hands. Boating, boating ill for the, uh, and doesn't want to Link's... slide down the wall during the game <clears throat> group. Link's riding his Lego, away. built his Lego creations. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are, talk. those are Twilight Kingdom sounds. Oh, there's something. There's something. Oh no, it's goo! Jump! In this game, Goo may be our friend. It may also be our foe. Y'all see Is that those? American date or a store everywhere else date? Probably American. I think it's all gonna release on the same day. Mm-hmm. Well, that was fun. Thoughts? Looks like fun. 
I was initially... Is that all, your only thoughts about Breath of the Wild 2 Electric Boogaloo? That's it? Well, like, I'm not as big as into the series as you are. I know! I, it I just mean, looks okay. like fun. It's it's hard to be as into the series as I am, which is a joke. I, I'm not <laughs> a mega fan in any way, shape, or form. I mm, wish I was, no. but I only got interested in Twilight Princess once I found out that Link was shirtless. Um, so that should be telling. That said, um, it's it, that said, it's still like going to be one of the biggest game releases this year for sure. Oh yeah, I'm still excited for it. I'm still going to get it and everything. Have you got? Have you played the first game? Yes, yes, I finished it. Okay. I um, actually I didn't finish the DLC, but I finished the main story. Mm -hmm. DLC is pretty good. I would I would highly recommend um, it. I was scared I think... of it. Mm -hmm. And then um, my friend, Kristoff, offered me mm -hmm. a deal. Uh, he oh, yes, said, I remember. Yes. Uh, I'm going to say it to the streaming audience, though. Mm -hmm. He said, if you complete the DLC, uh, just the just the first one. I didn't, he didn't need me mm -hmm. to complete the Master Trials, but if I completed yeah. the DLC, he would join Final Fantasy XIV. So, of course, immediately, mm -hmm. I went and I, I, I came, I saw, I, I kicked its ass. Yes. Uh, it also kicked my ass a lot. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot. Um, um, I think I finished the first one, I'm not sure. I should get my- I, I want to get my stream set up in time. Everything all set up mm -hmm. in time to do a playthrough on stream. I wanna that would do, be- I want to do one too. That would be awesome. We should do- we should do ones where we do it at the same time. No, actually yes. that would be terrible. We would spoil each other so badly. Yeah, probably. Especially the thing is, open is, yeah. The weird thing is with Air and I, when Air Air is really good at extrapolating facts from the stuff that I provide, I'm really good at extrapolating facts from the stuff that Air provides. And Air very yeah. much likes to tease when they know something. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So it'll be like, e -he -he. oh, e -he. you're not gonna guess who's up in the next area i didn't think he'd be here but wow and i'll be like oh my god it's 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 that guy ah oh, shit now i know the entire yeah. rest of the plot no so like, we have to be but very... that was so vague but it was so vague I, it wasn't vague to me i was i was thinking between uh, uh you you're thinking about a wide open plane of possibility i'm thinking about it like uh, who wants to be a millionaire there's four <laughs> answers and i just need a process of elimination them <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, yeah, so that being said, keep an eye on my uh, channel for when it actually opens up, and nothing could mm -hmm. ever possibly go wrong with that. Wink. Yep. Nothing yeah, at no all. Nothing is ever gonna go wrong. I'm never gonna die. Okay, speaking yeah, of never going to die, do that. <laughs> let's, let's go make the guy who died uh, <coughs> not die, I guess. Still kicking. So, Mass Effect 2. For people who were not mm -hmm. watching our previous stream, um, we played through all of Mass Effect 1 in order to have, like, it uh, be nice and organic, easy breezy cover girl. Yes. Um, for those of you who don't mind spoilers, Rex has survived, Ashley has died, bye Ashley, bye. Um, <laughs> Garrus has been hardened. I don't know what that means, mm -hmm. but I heard it said last time by Air when we were yeah, talking. Yeah, he's been hardened. He's been hardened. <laughs> You didn't think he could get any harder, but here we are. <laughs> um, Trust me, he can. But, um, anyway, that, that's that aside. Um, mm -hmm. we, okay, no we died, we came back. Um, Miranda attempted to be a cold ass bitch about it, but we were very nice, and so she stopped being a uh -huh. cold ass bitch about it. Uh, yeah. Jacob's there. Jacob's there. We also and... recruited Kasumi, who's very cool, who's a thief, yeah, we... she's very cool, and Zaid, who nobody Wait, likes. Wait, Kasumi? Kasumi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she is a DLC character for this game. I thought she was a DLC mm -hmm. character for the previous game. Yeah. No. Um, we, we recruited Kasumi, who is cool. She's a little bit more than just there, but I have a bad feeling she will be just there. Um, the Merc dude, who's who I don't care about so much that I forgot his name. Zaid. 
Zaid. Um, Zaid. And we, who, who feels like the Sebastian of this run, like the, oh, you wanted a DLC party member? Have the worst option. Here you go. He will encourage the stuff, the gameplay you don't actually like. Um, that is entirely a knock on DA2. DA2, you're my, you're, you, you're my friend, Simulator. Why did you do this to me? Why did you make me, why did you make me take the principal's son? He, he can't even party. He can't even party. <laughs> He can't even party. He can't fucking party, and he can't not party. He gets mad at you when you party. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um... We we got Garrus's ass out of Dodge, who's going by the name of, what was it? Guardian Angel? Archangel. 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 Woo! And we got Morden, who, um... Mm -hmm. Mood, man. He's a mood. I love Morden. If, I, if you don't I, like Morden, not... then I don't like you. Well... Don't like me then, because I don't. I don't hate. I don't hate him. I'm waiting to see him unfold. Like I didn't really know if I liked Rex until like the last third of the first game. Mm -hmm. That's fair. So that's fair. I'm gonna go ahead and just. I'm gonna let Morden wash over me. I don't know if I like mm -hmm. him yet, but he has promise. Um. So I do have to tell you that we will not be investigating Project Overlord. I will automatically make this quest complete. Why? Because. Uh, this is DLC. Yeah. And, uh, it's very triggery for me. Oh, okay, yeah. No problem. <laughs> so I will essentially ask you the big question of the DLC that carries over later. Okay. So, so essentially the plot is Cerberus has hooked up an autistic kid to a VI to try and control Geth. What do right. you think happens? Um, they really ma they manage it successfully and the entire universe is saved and uh mass oh, effect absolutely. 3 is literally just a tea party simulator yep that's it awesome no wonder so, the ending uh, was no. mm -hmm. anyway so would you send the kid back to cerberus or would you send him i already know your answer or would you send him to a school where he is will be looked after x-men time little boy <laughs> Also, his brother was in charge of the project. Oh, fucking rude. This is why you so, don't, this is why I don't have brothers. So yeah. I, I knew your answer before you told me. So uh, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, here's the oh. thing. Sending someone back to the person who fucked them up, that hasn't been an option on the table even even as a curiosity since Dragon- Dragons again, back to back to Dragon Age 2, since Dragon mm -hmm. Age 2, the option with Fenris. I've never, in such robotic, dated, arc- like, character models, I have never seen such a perfect vision of a human spirit being broken than when that yeah. happened. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I need to show you this easter egg. Did you just shoot Uranus? I just probed Uranus. Hold on, for Why? some reason the subtitles aren't on. Hold on. Why are the subtitles on? Subtitles are on, so why didn't we see ED subtitles? Because ED know, has some fun dialogue. Hmm. What did she say? Probing Uranus. Probing Uranus. Probe launched. I think she stopped now. Yeah, she's, she's like, she's, Commander, she's, Commander, she's, really? Commander. She's fucking over this. She's like, these are, yep. these are military provisions. We're using them on. Mm -hmm. What? Also, look, Pluto's a planet. Hi, Pluto. Okay. I like the idea that they post, they just like reinstated it as like in a popularity contest, they're like, we can make one thing yeah. a planet. It's Pluto. And, ev and All right. everyone else in the universe had their own thing, but Earth just overwhelmed the popularity vote. Yeah. Yep. Um, do you sorry, you're still uh, super salty about it. <laughs> do you want to recruit the convict or the warlord first? Uh, uh, mm, let's go with the 
you are you are angled towards the warlord. Let's go with the I was convict. in between them. I'm oh, let's go them. let's go to the convict. Mainly because it says Hourglass Nebula and I like the name of it. Fair enough. The smuggled cobbler is the gift from Aria. We'll go get it after. Okay. Each loyal member increases your chance of surviving the mission. Every bitch mm -hmm. who clocks you is psychological damage. It will be added to your profile. I mean, I bet you, apparently, pretty much. Note on profile. Miranda thinks your shoes look stupid. <laughs> uh, who else are we bringing? I love how you just decided that straight out the gate. <laughs> um, since you're doing the gameplay element, I say take your take your team. I need to mm -hmm. say this for the audience that's just uh just getting here this first time. I am not dating Air's boyfriend, but Air is through my character flirting with her boyfriend quite a bit. And I feel like I'm being body jacked. It's okay. They won't make you romance him. Just let me enjoy him. I, no. <laughs> oh, he got a new suit. No, that's not him. That's, that's not him. That's, that's, not, that's not him. That's I was, him. Just, really excited. I was just really excited for him to get new digs. Racist. Racist. It's, it's called being excited about my dude's swag. I just wanted to be supportive. Shepard, your package is being prepped and you can claim it short. As this is a high security vessel, okay. you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. <laughs> I like how there's only two options. No. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. I like how he said everyone stand down like he thought we definitely started a fight. A standard procedure. Mm -hmm. I'll keep my weapons. My standard procedure to keep my gun. Shepard, can you let them proceed? Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. Yeah, I don't know why I had to aggress everyone, but clear, you can be on your way. Shepard doesn't like being without their gun. For the pickup commander. Let's go. Well then store one where the sun don't shine. It's not like they're doing a scan check on you. She usually Fucking does that thing. Cell block two. As you can see. We keep tight control over the population. Are they are the prisoners in the little boxes? Yes. So they were just spin <laughs> spinning them around like a poppet. Yeah. I've blown a few <laughs> the airlocks as an example. The ship we wanted to show you how we eat, uh stress relief. One. We just swirl and these little bitches around. <laughs> Buff it. We can put the whole Twist place it. in lockdown on a moment's notice. Exactly. Nothing goes wrong here. Investigate. Just to see the options. Let's talk about Jack. Hi, what's what's about Jack? Tell me about Jack. Cerberus hasn't told you? No. Jack is Cerberus tells me Jack. Violence and hate <laughs> Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Probably a Harley Quinn kin. All right. Uh, expense. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. Oh, These that's... individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. Oh, that's definitely not gonna... And if they don't pay? That's definitely not getting exploited in the slightest. Mm -hmm. we that not we at all. maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motive. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Oh, of course, sweetie. I didn't see you. You totally have been following me this whole time, Arya. Oh my god. Hello! Hi, Arya! Hi, Arya. What good? It's a bit late for you, isn't it, sweetheart? 
Yep, of I know. You can. Can. Absolutely been following. Thousand. One thousand million hundred percent. We are doing Mass Effect and, um... Prisons are being prisons. If there's anything you can rely on the sci-fi and cyberpunk genre for, both of them, uh, the cyberpunk, cyberpunk, my beloved, is that um, they will look you in the face and they're like, wouldn't it be crazy? Wouldn't it be absolutely messed up if society did this? Wouldn't it? <laughs> and I, I do love to see it. I do love to see it. Uh, let's on? talk about the warden real fast since we have the option. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're glitching oh. out like... Nobody's business. Oh, yay! Love love to know that I'm being lost in cyberspace. And I'm practicing my material, too. That sucks. That sucks in bites. Not in that order. <laughs> Singing a song so that you can test the audio. Oh, Seeing yeah, it's slow. Oh, okay. Visuals. How's my visuals? Um, yeah, it's your visuals. What do you mean by glitching out? That's one way to stop. Well, that was everything. that was. Um, Mama might have accidentally pressed the wrong button. But we're fine. We're good. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. I fixed it. Get on with this. And I accidentally I pressed the wrong button. Tips. Whoops. We're in space. They have Wh where's your whoops counter? Is it up? Up the top. Yeah, it's up. It better be. These it's up. Should I put another whoops for accidentally ending the stream? And oh, then having to uh, two whoops. Two whoopses. Because <laughs> you hit the, hit the wrong. Control. Yeah, because you hit the wrong answer on this, or you hit, you hit the wrong answer on this one, and you accidentally ended the stream. We're at, we're at eleven whoopses. Yep. Let's, keep going past Let's go. Rooms and the Supermax, wing. Supermax. Is that the on-ship dining facility? Does it have oh, Borger? Excuse me, I may I get Prison Borger? Borger, please. Prison Borger, please. I will not question what is in the meat as long as it is tasty. Dignity. Sure the fuck is. Welcome to prison. Is there something I can do for you? Is this necessary? There's no excuse for beating a prison nuggies for all. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This is beneath you. Paragon you your fucking ass. You as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions. Oh, oh get fucked on. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. He said they made the nuggies out of. They're tenderizing. Hey. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. Hi, Hi Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri you <laughs> Lowenthal. Can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Uh, what do you mean, buying prisoners? Uh, let's ask him everything. Gary Lowenthal's voice, all the way. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells us to I want to buy him. You want to buy your Lowenthal? I want to buy your Lowenthal. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? At a cheap, cheap price. He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. Mm. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. Do they know when to stop? They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. Yeah, that makes sense. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. The crime? So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. I want 
to buy him. <laughs> Mom, can we buy him? Um, chat, if you would please donate to our uh, purchase of Yuri Lowenthal fund. That way we yes. can put him up in a proper home with exploitable habitats mm -hmm. in order to keep him enriched. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Smokes, clothes, your pride. I'm gonna buy him. you, pride, baby. I'm gonna buy him. I'm gonna buy him. No, get. No, no, no. I'm gonna buy him. I'm gonna buy him. I love him. I wish I could go. I wish I could buy you. Let me buy you. Where's the mod where I can buy you and you can become one of my friends? I you don't can... think there is one. If you can. If you can. I, I'll buy you. You'll be my friend, you'll be my buddy, you'll be my pal, and you will... All in exchange for only blowing up what I point you at. And trust me, we're gonna run into a lot of... <laughs> a lot of explosive stuff. We can blow up a lot of things. Mom, can I buy him? I mean, yes. Mom says yes. Yay! Yuri! Yuri! Are you? We're getting a Yuri! Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. Mama provides for her babies. I'm waiting for Arya to say, uh, we have Yuri at home. Me? <laughs> <laughs> clink, clink. I hear the screaming in my head. Alright, let's go get the person we have to. I wanted to take Yuri Lowenthal home and give him an explodable habitat. Now processing is through the door on the far side of the room. The fun thing is we get to make the habitats and then we can make them different each time. Exactly! We can give them all sorts of little exciting little materials. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Oh! Weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Oh, <laughs> you really think? Hell no! Oh no. Hell. I'll send you there myself. Activate systems. That's cute. I assume there wouldn't be any negotiating anyway. Nope. Lol. You're more valuable as it shut up. Who's gonna who's gonna fucking pay for my my uh constant stay here? The Reapers? <laughs> he just blows up. Oh, he's a, it was a doggy, not a person. I thought it was a person. I was <laughs> a doggy. I thought it was a Krogan. Uh, I don't think the, they have. We have any Krogans in here. Ow, doggy. Doggy blue up. Doggy blue up. Oh, that one was just getting trying to get head pats. That was sad. Yeah, remember you're not uh you're not beefy. <laughs> not beefy boy anymore. You are not you are not particularly beefy. You will have to find some burger. The goose is on the loose. I repeat, the goose is on the loose. Shepard, if you hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. However, required if we want to get Jack out of stasis. I'm doing it. Be ready. I'm doing it! Let's fucking go! Yuri Lowenthal, you're coming home with me! Ali Ali Oxen Free! She's chilling. Yellow ear, for some reason. It's a biotic implant. Okay. We have to get nice. Down there. Yeah, let's go. 
Too bad we can't go in the previous section and get Yuri out, but I guess they're probably already running. Yeah, good fucking luck to them. Lol. Can use this. All guard for store order. Lethal force authorized. But don't kill Jack. Text lockdown. Lockdown. Sector seven, nine, and eleven have lost life support. No survivors. Yikes! Hope that wasn't the section we were just in. How do I get down again? I forget. Oh, that bridge, bridge, Thank you, Warden. And take you down with it? Yeah, sure, okay, boss. You're not desperately trying to reassert control, of course not. You're more valuable to me as a prisoner than a customer. How about living? Is living more important? <laughs> Look how bitter you are. I just think he's so dumb. Like, oh, I'm gonna take out the one guy who's potentially capable of helping us. Yeah, smart one, Chief. How... How is your party going, Chief? Not so good, I think. Not so good, it seems. Not so good, it seems. No, no. <clears throat> I need it to be stated whenever I do an accent that is not my own accent. It will be inherently offensive. I just don't know to who. It's just cover, buddy. Cover, accent. buddy. Your shields are down, buddy. Is that Garrus? No. That's Garrus. No, who? Someone said. Um, one less to worry about. Oh yeah, that that was Garrus. Harden, huh? Yep. Cover, boy. Cover, cover. Behind cover. I know I'm backseat game, I mean, but sometimes <laughs> I feel like you forget that you're not a big boy. For that, Garrus. He's trying his best. <laughs> Ow, dickhead! Oh, Solus! Morden! Be careful. Who's shooting me? Oh, you. That bitch. And he is donezo. Can I pick up a clip? Oh well, whippy whippy for me! I want the clippy whippy! I already hate this. I already hate- I already hate this little... This little uwu shepherd we've created. Is that the guy from before? Or is that just a dude? I think it's just a dude. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. You're valuable, Shepherd. I could have sold you and lived like a king. Yeah, okay, whatever, sucking fucking soul, idiot. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. 
this is for the good of the galaxy. Selling me to live like a king is for the good of the galaxy? Uh -huh. Find my clit and suck it, you dumbass piece of shit. Wow. Forgets what the Twitch guidelines are. <laughs> um. Well, you didn't show it. Yeah. So I think I we're okay. I didn't show nothing. I didn't show what nothing. Also, it's hardly even a threat, you know? It's not like you can find it. This is not a man that a girlfriend would rate a 5 out of 5 out of 5 on a Yelp or something. <laughs> Future Yelp. Future Yelp. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, you know, maybe Yelp's just that good. It's possible. Hi, Jack. It does an interpretive dance. Do want? Uh, is there a right answer for this? Not really. To rescue you. No, wait. You're in Don't a pick situation, it. Oh. And I'm gonna get you out of here. Sorry. Shit, you sound Do you want me to? Oops. I'm no. not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I don't work for them. I'm working with Cerberus for now because they can help me. With them, for them, I don't care. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Yes. No, yes? don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know what? Say that. No, damn it. Too late. We can get Aww. To safety and we're asking for your help. We could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. No. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. What do you want? Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. Yeah. Why the fuck would yeah. I care? Yeah. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. Yeah. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Let's go, Sasha Valor. <laughs> I want to know what would have happened if I told her she looked like an idiot. <laughs> I think you can find her. Oh. Recruited prisoner known as Jack Fatim, Purgatory's betrayal of Shepard, unacceptable. Fortunately, was able to reverse credit transfer. May have to take step against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. Yeah, do it. Just because I think that you're a dumb piece of shit, Cerberus, doesn't mean that I don't want you to put the foot down where you can. Because that's just fun. I'm not renegade, I'm just a... a diplomatic asshole. You're a... you're a... paragrade. Paragade. That's what they're called. I'm a bitch. <laughs> I'm a bit. I'm a boss ass bitch. Welcome to the no, I'm just a straight up bitch. Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On the ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Mm. Is there a right answer for this one? Yeah. There is a right answer for this one. Mm-hmm. Will you pick it if I choose the wrong one? Do you want me to if you choose the wrong one? Well, we're trying to go for the best ending, right? Yep. I'll tell you what I would have picked. You tell me what I should I should pick. Mm-hmm. I would pick Give Her the Files now because I don't give a shit about what Cerberus has to think, and I think it makes sense, but... Let me know what you find. 
Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Miranda, I don't know what you were fucking expecting when we went to go get Jack. So, fun fact. Yeah. Originally, Jack was supposed to have gender neutral pronouns and was pansexual. Nice. But then the whole Bioware having sex scenes and gay relationships became a quote unquote controversy. Mm -hmm. And they changed her. Alright. So, for well, some reason, she's straight. Mm hmm. In our heart of hearts, we keep we keep it mm -hmm. rolling. I assume that decreased my relationship with Miranda a little. Just a little, not too much. Yeah. It's fixable. Yay. Mm. I assume that was the correct answer? Yes. The other one probably would have fucked up? Question the mark? other one makes it hard for Jack to trust you. Ah, gotcha. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Let me go look. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. Yeah, nice to remember. Honest, live, of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission to <laughs> secrets. Work on Also, genophage other kinds. Was more than just study. Uh, I assume that this is, once again, Paragon and non-Paragon? Yes. I'll do Paragon. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Um... How did it happen? Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Um, you were aiming at perhaps they weren't adapting. Did you have a thought in mind for that? Nope, I was just le trying to leave it on a non-answer so you didn't pick one. <laughs> I feel like I was... Right. Is perhaps they weren't adapting more just talking or is it an actual continuation? It's, it's more just talking. Mm-hmm. It's essentially the same question as how did it happen. Okay, then uh, let's go with the neutral option here. What happened next? What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. Um, investigate? Uh, I kind of already know this stuff, don't I? When I talk to Rex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I assume was that the best choice is just a question, not continuation. Yep. Okay. These are questions, these are continuations. Okay. I'm gonna ask, was that the best choice? You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. Um, thank you for telling me. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morgan. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Because I don't, I don't know what the results are of like telling him he was wrong or telling him he was right or whatever. Um, but he feels very strongly that his work on the genophage was the right thing. Right. Because um, 
maybe this is just coming at it from a 2023 standpoint, but I feel like it's super not my place to talk about this with him. Mm -hmm. At all. Whether to say he's right or wrong, it doesn't seem like my place whatsoever to pass judgment. It seems like it's a Krogan and a a Solarian thing. I might have my own personal Mm. opinions, but just walking up to him and telling him them doesn't seem like my place. Okay. Yeah. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to I've got the best armor available. Okay. I'm more interested. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your vote, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Um... Are these once again Paragon Renegade, or is this just normal? This is a uh, flirting and normal. I'd like to go for the normal friendly option. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't want to romance him, Waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you See, here's the thing. When I say he's there, he's there in a better way than other people who have just been there have been there. Like, he's just there, but like, I'm kind of glad he's there. Mm -hmm. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. I assume that the top one is absolutely flirting. Yes. <laughs> uh, the job isn't everything. There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Um... I have a bad feeling that we have nothing to hide is like, oh, well, we if we don't have anything to hide, we, we, sh- we shouldn't be afraid of it. Mm-hmm. It kind of is, yeah. Yikes. I'm gonna go with the grenade option then. They'll have something to see by the time we're done. No doubt. We'll be right in the middle of whatever goes down. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Yay! I'm glad I don't get Renegade points for that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was just a normal thing to say. Unread messages? You're alive from Marum! Uh... Do you want me to read it? I'll read it. What, you, did you want to read it? I can read it if it's easier for me to read it. No, I, I can read it. The question is, do you, do you want to roleplay a mom, my mom? Is that what you want to do? No, you know that's not what I want. I know. The hole gets deeper and deeper is all I'm saying. I, The fact that you don't want to dig the hole is what makes it so funny. <laughs> From mom. So I have to find out my child is alive third hand from the Alliance Brass? Where the hell have you been? I figure whatever you're doing is classified, likely part of your Spectre operations. Just stay safe out there, and keep doing your mom proud. And sneak something through a secure channel next time. Love your mother, Captain Hannah. Rihanna. Gift of words. You and Garrus are alive. Do you remember Dr. Michelle? Uh, no. She from... What? You didn't have to delete it. I was trying to remember it. <laughs> She's not important. I'm trying to remember her. Where's she from? New Hope? <laughs> She's the person we save in Garrus's recruitment mission in Mass Effect 1. What? Garrus had a recruitment mission? Yes. Oh, her. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. If I'd have known that, I'd have run the message. 
She's just like, yeah. if things are good here, I got a promotion. Stay safe. Ah. Oh. Okay. Also, she has the hots for Garrus. <laughs> I'm used to I'm used to listening to that. Anyway, what's this from? Daniel, aka Yuri Lowenthal. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, okay. This, this was the this is clinic. the Morden version of Yuri Lowenthal, not yes, the this is space the version. Of Yuri Lowenthal. Not the prisoner Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> so many Yuri Lowenthal. All right. Marco is read. Marco is read. Marco is read. Right. Kelly, do you have anything to say? Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. Uh, what do you mean? You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. Yeah, no shit. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. Um, I'll be careful. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? How's the crew? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Bye. I'll be here if Thanks you for feeding my fish. And we didn't even have to have sex with her. Thank God. Not that she isn't a lovely lady, but I am keeping my options open. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I assume everything's going well up here. We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Huh. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Ha <laughs> ha Glad to see you getting along. Bye, guys. Also, Joker, don't tell me about fucking crazy. I had a very, very, very long period of time back there where I wanted to buy Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> and, um, that hasn't passed. That's, I still would like to buy Yuri forever. Lowenthal. It's on the internet forever. Come on, Yuri! The water's fine! We'll take care of you. Well, I'll take care of you. Air has a whoops counter for a reason. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I just got this really strong image in my head of like taking Yuri Lowenthal's character out on the field and then just at some point hearing whoops. And hearing <laughs> He's a little dead. ding as the counter goes up. I mean, you'll fix it. You'll you'd fix it, but still. Mm -hmm. Hey, got a minute? Next sure. Next Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. I also don't know what to do with you, considering that all your conversational pieces are about your husband. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. Yeah, I did. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. So we can That's also hell open and close the windows. Open it back up! Let her see! It's, it's prettier that way. Let her see! Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Thank you, Adele. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have Let's chit chat. What's up, Miranda? Well, maybe another time. No, she doesn't oh, have anything to say. Of course, Commander. Okay. Uh, bye. Rupert, Is that it for us? Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking. 
<laughs> Maybe we uh, helped out a little. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Considering you've been in here recalibrating your gun this whole time. Shepard, have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you Goodbye. later, Harris. I'll be here if you need me. Just calibrating. Always calibrating. Always calibrating. <sighs> For those of you at home who are aware, usually when I stream, I'm eating dinner. And that has not been an exception this time. Today was a uh, cheese hot dog, fries, Ooh. and a homemade version of the potato leek soup from Ratatouille. A la binging oh, with that sounds yummy. That sounds really yummy. It was quite good. I feel like I need more potatoes in order to make it the right consistency. It's almost doubled their power draw. They seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward Indeed. and the balance is back in line. Glad to see it. Tully. Tully's not here yet. That's right. Hi, Jack. Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Sweet. Gimme. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. Glad they're helping. They're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I assume she's mad at you when you don't pick Renegade get options. I just know it. No, she's just kind of like, ugh. Hello. Oh, uh, let's, yeah, let's investigate. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. Okay, tell me about Cerberus. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research <laughs> facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You want better quarters? You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You're right about dark. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. Um, is how would you help aggressive at her? No. Is it more? I don't is it? So. It's more neutral. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's not be a boy scout about it. My first mate. It's funny you say that. The boarding party. Because and handle the executions. Because Jack calls you the leader of the boy scouts or girl scouts, depending on your gender. <laughs> uh, is you enjoy killing a neutral statement? Yes. All right, let's go. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. Okay, bye. Go. Yep. Yep. Bye. Plus four Paragon, plus two Renegade. Mm -hmm. Which will never stop being the song in my head, so... <laughs> always a problem. You're always going to get a little bit of both points. There's not much you can really do about it. You know, and I don't mind that. I'm just hearing the song in my head. And it's extremely cringy for me to be thinking about that. Because I am not... Well, I'm not black. And I don't <laughs> dance like I could be. So... Disclaimer. That was a blanket statement based on stereotypes. 
I do not believe that all black people are capable of dancing. I do, however, believe that all white people, um, need to get good at dancing. The end. I don't know. Agreed. I did dance <laughs> classes when I was little. That's not even- that's not even true. I've seen some crazy-ass white people. I was in musical theater, of course I did. <laughs> I did dance classes when I was little. Yeah. Tap the and jazz. Kind the, the fun kind or like the required kind? The fun kind. Good. Is this where we gotta be going? Oh, this is, I forgot about this quest. This quest sucks. I was gonna get the stuff from, um, that Arya promised us, but this quest is kind of annoying. Oh. We can put Jack in some clothes if you want to put Jack in some clothes. What's the clothes? Yeah, wear something, Jack. Tiny shoebox all the way across the sky. Tiny shoebox with nubby little legs. Can I leave early? No. Okay. <laughs> Gotta do this no. quest. Fuck. You're you're fucking stuck in it, mate. Hey, that's offensive. Mate. Look, mate. You wading directly into a Gatling gunfire is offensive to me. Whoopsie. I assume that's not a real whoopsie. Well, something just fl exploded that I didn't want to explode. Why? Because that's how the quest works. You just walked directly into the explosive. Yep. Why? Because I'm smart. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a whoopsie. Hold on, I can't press the button at the moment. That's fine. You need to get out of Gatling gunfire. Out of Gatling gunfire. Ah, fuck off. This is not. This is not your happy day, is it? Oh fuck! Fucking... You cannot stop the Gatling gunfire early by shooting him. Well, now that was interesting. What was that? Was that your biotic power? What? There was like a line of... Explosives. They just went pew pew pew. Uh, that might have been Garrus. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we only lost five crates. Hmm? We only lost five crates. Awkward. Well, oops, 15 out of 20. Alright, let's go get the Warlord! Warlord time. Also, isn't the galaxy map so much nicer this time? Looks like a big eye. <sighs> there goes the soup. I want good soup. I want proper soup. I don't want like pet cup of soup. I want like real soup. You should make. You should go make some soup. I should make soup. Mhm. Mm Just remember, um, mirepoix is the base of all French soups, basically. So, how about it? I'm going to continue eating. I've decided that just now. Just 
Okay, doesn't say if Okira's on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. Loudspeakers. Someone likes the sound of their voice. Hey, Jack. I found a place you're gonna love. Not oh, god damn it! Why? <laughs> you're right. No. What happened? My cookies fucking fell everywhere. They were in a very no. neat little, a little, a neat little pile that had no reason to explode because it ha it was fine. And then I opened it. And not only did it open, it exploded. No. <laughs> Which is um fucking rude, IKEA. Please tell your calf calf rep. Please tell your calf rep to behave them fucking selves. They're very cute, and they have little heart-shaped, um, little heart-shaped thumbprint chocolate cookies. But you keep their bitch asses out, bitch asses in line. Ugh, there's dust everywhere. Well, that's because you've been soldering. What? But that's because you've been soldering. Soaring? Doing woodwork. Soaring. Oh, sawing. Well, okay. I have completed my shelves. Oh, you have? Good. I have completed my shelves. They are partially organized. Okay, I guess all the cookies are out now. Wasn't intended, but... Fate says cookies. Fate says, uh, diet? Don't know her. Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm-hmm. Crickle crackle. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You son of a bitch. Well, let's see if I can heal you. Actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. Metagel, change your mind. I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I, I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. Get rid of them. I want your friends gone. Understand? That's the Paragon answer? Uh, patrol? Yep. The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Uh, quick investigate just to see what the options are. Um, fortifications. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. Uh, let's just look at the other options too as well. Get all our options out. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace Make them breed. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? All right, start running. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit! Oh shit! Did I not give him the metagel? You did not. Funny. I thought so. Come on. There wasn't any option for me to give him the metagel, huh? No. I'm just a complete bastard in this one. Plus 12 Paragon points my, my fucking ass. You could have been Mina. I could have been. But I think that was Yuri Lomenthal again. I think it was too. <laughs> Why 
very low on those fucking everywhere in space. He really is. I'm gonna say for all the bit for all that I rag on sci-fi, you've got a lot of Yuri Lowenthal. Lowenthal. I I applaud you for that. As L Yuri Lowenthal appreciators. Listen, I'm just Yosuke Hanamura just changed my life, okay? That's all I'm saying. I mean, mine too. Yeah, just a little. So. He brought us together. And he ripped us apart. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> that's, a pro that's a fucking prophecy. <laughs> we buy Yuri Lowenthal and it all falls apart. Oh, God. Oh, Yuri Lowenthal for the hubris of uh, attempting to purchase him <laughs> he sends a god a godlike punishment <laughs> as was babylon as was the world before us so goes Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> oh no. When man attempts to count the number of cameos that Yuri Lowenthal has had in the oh, sci fi down. genre, or in the video game genre at all, Yuri Lowenthal strikes them down for their hubris. Someone attempts to show him UX Yosuke fan art and he just banishes them to the netherworld. <laughs> you are to the Shadow Realm. You to the Shadow Realm. I like this world. Seven night cycles and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. Night cycle. Seven days. My bread, but fully grown. Must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Well, Red to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Investigate. Uh, you do yeah, all of it, all of it. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Mm. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Can I buy you two? I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And oh no, you wouldn't take him home, home, right? It was taught yeah. not to be judged. I still don't know what the goal was, though. I don't know. I can teach you crochet. This is another skill that will help you in this world. Mm hmm very important for Old Krogan. Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It like that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, dude. So <laughs> I know, right? Too real. <laughs> Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. Is what he's saying possible? I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? No idea. Doesn't look like he's had much success so far. Um, but you failed? How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. That Merc said these guys go crazy. I don't know of that. Show me the lab, boy. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The glass mother. 
she is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Don't die! That's a dying cutscene if I ever saw one. No, he doesn't die. Oh, cool! Glad he's friendly. That I know of. I like that he smells us and he's like, Wait, you don't smell like someone I fucking hate. Awesome! <laughs> you fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Come with us! Can you show us the way? Help us fight to the lab. No. You're giving up? I will fight if they come, but I feel it deep that I must wait. I kill, but only here. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Okay, well, when you're off your shift, I want to teach you how to make hot chocolate. <laughs> not a lot of room to maneuver. Hint, you don't use water. I have For the to. love of God, you don't use water. I have to. Yeah, you- well, you- you- No, you don't. I mean, wait. Yeah, you I have do. a nut allergy? <laughs> I can't stand nut milk. I hate the taste. Right. I just hate the taste of milk, period, and then the, the, the sickness on top of that. Right. I, on the other hand, love milk, which is why I was able to eat the soup that I was today, because it called for heavy cream. Cream I can do. Well, it was heavy cream that I made out of a, a cup of milk and butter. I've done that once. I made butter <laughs> out of cream once. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I haven't done that, <clears> but... Mainly just because I'm not skilled enough, not because I think it's weird. You don't need to be skilled, it just takes for fucking ever. That's why it's called churning milk into butter. Churning butter. Uh, sitting on the stool and spending all day churning butter, waiting for father to come home. I made a little foil ball and I put it in my, like, cream container. Mm -hmm. And then I shut the cream container and I sat there and I shook it for about an hour. Nice. And it turned into butter. And then I made garlic bread. That sounds fun. It was good. I just really wanted garlic bread. I wanted garlic bread that much. You wanted garlic bread so badly you tapped into your um, ancestral yep. milkmaid roots. So I did. You said cottage core this, bitch. With, gar with the power of garlic bread, anything is possible. No Ow, lady. Nice use of home. Nice use of the duck button. Come here. What to worry about? Jack, don't. I like Jack's. That. I like Jack's attitude for this for this particular mission. <laughs> Come here, son of a fuck! That's her usual attack sounds. <laughs> well, especially on this, like, Looney Tunes ass world, that is especially nice. Nice jack sidestepping out of the way of a fucking homing missile. Mm hmm. I think it's the same genius that gave them legs. <laughs> yep. Just putting it out there. Do you remember the receptionist in Saren's lab? Oh uh, yeah. The hottest woman the hottest woman in the game? No, the Asari oh. one. The freaked oh, out yeah. when we said we we're gonna blow everything up. Yeah. Okay, just checking. Okay. Don't worry, we'll see your favorite character again soon, I promise. Yay!
I think my number one favorite character in Mass Effect, as of this moment, is, um, Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> Good choice. I just think that's a very multi-purpose answer. I thought at some point we need to do this one and, uh, the stream needs to be called How Avan Learned, uh, Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Sci-Fi. <laughs> Thanks to Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Yuri's conditioning me slowly. Featuring Yuri Lowenthal. Sweet Yuri. So I do have good news. He does play a, a actual named character. In this in this game. Yes. That probably dies immediately. Uh, we can save him. Yay! Yeah, oh, interesting. I think they can turn up together if you're not end up together if you're not dating Liara. Good. Let Liara have some happiness. Sure. I think that's something that we don't see enough of. We see in in the Story of Seasons series, but I don't think we see enough romantic rivals, people who will make your potential romantic interest happy if you're not interested in them. Um, there's actually quite a bit of that in Mass Effect. Lovely. Concentrate on ARG! Can do boss, will do boss. Concentrating on ARG! Concentrating on ARG! Doing my best, Chief. Got my little snack plate. Got my little black grape juice. So, my dad sometimes nicknames me Spud. Yeah. And this morning he asked me if I was awake. He said, Are you up, Spud? But I misheard him and thought he said, Are you awake, slut? You up, slut? Your shoes are down, my dude. I don't know how you survived that one. Pro game of skills. More like extreme luck. That that hit you right when it would have killed you. Shields down. Uh, Garrus is dead. Oh, Garrus. No, he's not. No, he's not. Fire in the hole. He slid down the he slid down the fucking staircase. Yeah, he fucking he pulled a funky little slide. Got people on the left too. And your shields are down. Jack's taking hits. It's alright. She's. Oh, Garrus is getting. Oh. Oop. <laughs> to, be fair to, to be fair, Garrus was just kind of standing there. He, he takes just, off to me. Kind of he just kind of did a little dance. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. I, I do know you. What the fuck are you doing here? As soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. Why are you here? Again? I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not uh -huh. the mercs. 
Jador is on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Mm -hmm. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. Uh, explain Okir's work. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. He wants to do something really great here. I don't know what it is. Try harder to avoid trouble. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. I feel like every option I would have picked would have been like, God, fuck. Someday. So, we actually don't see her again in Mass Effect 3, but she gets indoctrinated. Oh. Rough on her. Well, Here you are. I guess she did keep get, keep keep getting herself in trouble, huh? Mm-hmm. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. Okay, I presume. I take it you're okay. You don't seem particularly caged or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Yeah, sure. Surprised. Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. Is, and I bet you will too, a threat? No, it's just kind of like a telling you more about it if you didn't play Mass Effect 1. Ah. Uh, a tough decision. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider, one that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my reject for her army, but she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors, not your problems. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I yeah. acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Um. Investigate? I want to. Yeah, I want to know about the Crojan rejects. We just met a cool guy outside. Perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them. I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. Um, investigate. What did you I mean, get from the collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange, so isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. Uh -huh. So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious, 
that's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, <laughs> let us carry the genopay. There is like a thousand huh. eye in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. <sighs> is your soldier ready? If your pet soldier is as strong as you think, maybe I can use him. Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. You gonna let a bland ass white woman take care of your shit? She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Uh oh. Why so concerned? You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. Okay, man, whatever. I don't even know why we're here. Let's go. So, um, the thing that gets me about that conversation is what we learned about the genophage. And it's the fact that the Krogan simply aren't infertile. The women give birth to stillborn babies. Rough. Oh. They've seen us. Nice. Nice dodge, Nice. <laughs> Thanks for taking Thanks, another rocket to the face. He's so dead though, right? Yeah. I just revived him. Nice. Just open a door to oh. He's letting Kraken out. Nice. You don't even really need to worry about her though. Something's still alive in here. Where are you? Something is something is having a lunch break, I guess. I was just staring at you. He's just going, hmm? Well, oh, that guy's a- that guy was a friend. That guy was a bro. Once I upload level a little more, I can actually make them work for me. Nice. The name it before. is Grunt! I don't know anything about him except for <clears throat> Grunt! That's it. Why would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan? Crack it open. Let's see what a pure Krogan's got. He's hard to pass up. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll help. I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. My son! He's a big one. He's a big My boy! Son. He's a big boy! He's a big boy! 
cloning facility destroyed, Oki dead, but his quote unquote son was recovered. Loss of Oki could be a problem, but allow Shepard to decide whether to activate the Kruger. I like how it kind of looks like one of those, um, the ship looks like one of those sleeping pillows, you know? Mm -hmm. Like the little plushies that look like they're asleep on their stomach. Yes, yes. It looks like that. <laughs> it's a pillow, it's a pet. It's a it's pillow, a pet. pillow pet. Cloning the Krogan facility makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. <clears throat> this one was created and likely educated by a madman. Uh, that excited, are you? I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. <laughs> we don't know anything about it, Commander. So we'll be careful. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. Yay. So we get, we're gonna activate him, right? Yeah, we're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna deprive ourselves of another character. Upgrading weapons, making sure that we can shoot good and maybe not get killed by armor fire. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Which Anything space else? was the Varen again? I'll let you work. The ones that... You don't like us! We kill you all! The, the fuzzy ones? No, the, the ones with the big pointy teeth. That doesn't narrow it down much. Is it the and ones that... they got big that... red eyes. Big red eyes. Were they? Did they look a little bit, a little bit like little guys? Kind like of. Like kind of rabid little guys. Yeah, they were rabid little guys. Oh, okay, that's not bad. His injuries look painful. I worry about him. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper. Will be all right. Are you into aliens? Oh wait, no, that's racist. To other species. Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding, and passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? No. Nope. Is there Bye. anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? <laughs> you have unread messages at your private terminal. You can't tell me to that a second ago. Please press one. Hmm. A big, big paragraph. Hey, Shepard, heard. I have you to thank for getting out of purgatory. Send ship around to find me. They didn't bring weapons check good enough. I'm going to carve your name instead of mine into the next victim. I think they got anyone you need dead. Haha. <laughs> um. You did take a shot at me through the, uh, though on the way out, so I have to kill you. You know how it goes. Dad taught me that you let anybody hurt you. They get, uh, they get ideas so you make you send a message. Not that I'm sending now. Ha. Uh, so, see you around. The people who live there are coming back, and it's showtime. Look around for your name. I'll be sure to find it before I find you, Billy. Da 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 da. What the guy we were talking to? That's <laughs> Yuri Lowenthal. Lol. Uh, yeah, I want to bring him home. <laughs> he doesn't know how to write. So, Hadley, how are you gonna spend your he wants to write. He wants really to write my name down sure because he wants to serial course, kill, kill me. That's sweet. Commander, I assume everything's going well up here. It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless. Harmless self-promotion. 
Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. Joker. Right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. <laughs> See you, Commander. Good game. Bye. I'm, I'm glad you've come around to Joker. What? Did I not like Joker at the start? You didn't, you didn't like him at the start. You thought he was too up himself. Oh. Yeah, I guess I didn't hate him, but... It's much more funny when a guy with the, his level of ego has someone play off of him like Edie. Mm-hmm. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? Stop talking like that, Shepard. Talk, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. I know, it's a bit uncomfortable, huh? I'm like, are you fucking flirting? Is there a romance flag for you, buddy? No, that's just uh, how she always talks to him. <sighs> Head cannon. Jacob's just a sex pot. In world. No one can resist talking to him like he's a piece of meat. Well, Kas Kasumi is very into him, we find out later. Aw, that's nice. She- it's not. She goes into his room and spies on him while she's invisible. Oh, that's nice. I mean, considering that she's otherwise a DLC character who just sits around in a room, it's nice to see her getting some exercise. I chat was! What's up? I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy I was very unprofessional. It's a, I enjoyed it. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Yes. You do indeed get to drink with her again in Mass Effect 3, if she survives. Yes, she will survive. Hey, good to hear. Shepard. Have you got a minute? What's up? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of <laughs> And he's back in the middle of his calibration. Can you see why that became a meme? Yeah, I can see why that became a meme. Like, damn. The middle of his calibrations. Hi, Miranda. What's up? Nobody wants to talk. But they're all waiting to see what I'm going to do with Grunt. Grunty boy. Mm. Well, we do have another story mission after we crack open Grunt, so. Okay, let's, let's egg. Let's take him out like an egg. And crack Let's him to make an omelet. baby boy. Let's hatch this boy. Da, 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 also, da, also let's... important important note: his room is the room I gave a certain someone in our new AU. Oh, this. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, oh, that's me. Me by a window out in the shuttle bay. Okay. Mm -hmm, nice. Hi. That's that's quite that's a baby. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Is he aware? Did he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Uh, did you see anything odd? Can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, whose fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs were applicable. No defects of any kind, aside mm -hmm. from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. So he was supposed to be... Okay, yeah, whatever. Clink, clink! I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's too valuable to leave. He's either a powerful also, I don't work for Cerberus, so bomb. shut up. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Hatching a boy. The consequences are that I get a boy. So, um... Get a son. Suck on that. Suck on that, we Cerberus. get a son. We get a son. A Krogan son. I want to see my little boy. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> yeah, cough it up, buddy. 
You will need it. With your eye color. Ouch. Human, female. Before you die, I need a name. You'll need more than that. You'll, you'll get more than that. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank Volkir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. My Grunt. You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Join my crew. We'll find it. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Mm. Hm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I, I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Okay, now we learn crochet. <laughs> Hold on one second. Give me a second. Viewers, for people who are watching and wondering, what's those weird sounds that Avin makes occasionally? Those are IKEA brand heart-shaped chocolate flavored cookies. They make a very strong point of saying it's not chocolate. Uh, popcorn and grape juice with ber mixed berries in it. Mm. I should, I could, I could mukbang all day about it. Probably not, actually. Huh? I, I can't eat a lot. <laughs> I can't eat a lot. Okay, that's better. Was good. Shepherd. What happened? Uh, Anything the... in your tank imprints that can Oops. make use of the resources we found? Did you whoops? I kind of whoops. Uh, the layout was incorrect. I just fixed it. No. Oh. Uh, we can't afford. Can't afford it. So I should keep this crap around? Don't let it pile up. I live down here. Okay. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Bye. Alright. See what Donnie and Gabby have to say. What's up? I just heard the collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit. We are going to make those dirty buggers pay. Nice. Alright, so we're gonna go One talk to the elusive men. Right. One more major story point. Mm -hmm. Alright. One more major story beat. Beat the heat. Beat the meat. Beat it till your task is complete. Yeah, I'm coming at you in my jammies, bro. 
<laughs> Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Caden Alenko, is stationed on Horizon. What's he doing on Horizon? Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relations with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Commander Alenko, it must be big. I suggest you take it up with him. Um, notify the, uh, can't be a coincidence? The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. Sir, please take care of your lens flare. After him to get to you. Notify the Alliance? The... We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Alright, then let's fucking move. I'm allowed to be in the Terminus, right? As a Spectre? This is yes. the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Uh -huh. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Aye, aye, aye. There's a bug. Tell me you have something. Yes. 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 I have boobies. <laughs> if we artificially add boobies to all <laughs> to all of our armor, we will have enough room to do things in them that will allow <laughs> us to repel. Whatever the fuck we're trying to repel. If you add a little bit of extra cushioning in the booty, uh, we can have even more room for all of that stuff that's plot important. Oh, yeah. Oh no. <clears throat> Jacob, get over here. You're first. <laughs> Gender reforming surgery for everyone. <laughs> Lola, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our comm systems back online. See, this this is making my eyes glaze over yeah. a little bit. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's He's trying to get the guns working, but they're not working and the, they can't get messages out. What, is that? what the fuck is up with those fucked up birds? Oh, the birds are great, aren't they? The fucked up birds. They look like little baby chocobos just chilling up there. Get everyone to the safe house. Um, get everyone to the safe house oh, yesterday. Get everyone to the safe house yesterday. I don't know why they thought that they could outrun space bees if you can't even outrun mm. normal bees. Okay, but for real, if that was you and it was happening, would you just stand there or would you run? I would grab a net. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> just putting that out there. A net, maybe some hairspray, okay. with a with a little lighter. Give myself a flamethrower. I don't know if they have nets in the future. Assuming control. Whoopi, what's the fucking point?
I like how literally no one else cares. They're just like, yeah, okay, sure. Now that would make kind of a very interesting character if he got to undergo reaperization. Who? Caden? Caden, yeah. Who's that would admittedly break? make him more interesting as a character. Who shall we bring? You know the drill. Morden or Jack? You pick. Um, no, this is your- your gameplay. What's- who's- who uh, who has helped you out more? Jack's more fun. Yeah, the definitely. dialogue in this is more fun. Yeah. Okay. It's actually still pretty early, I'm surprised. What? It's actually still pretty early, I'm surprised. Time-wise? Yeah. I mean, we started pretty early, but we've been going for a bit. We've been going for an hour and a half. Yeah, almost two hours. We usually go for three. Well, I don't know about usually. <laughs> we have an outlier of like four. We're we have an outlier of six. Yeah, we have an outlier of six. I don't know if we have enough data to say we usually do anything. But from the ones I've recorded, we usually do three. I missed my good gun. Yeah. Where'd it go? You don't have it in this game. No. Oh. Mass Effect 3? Actually, I think we. Yeah. I think we can get it, but it's like. super late in the game. Hmm. Rough time. So that's a pretty cool set piece. We. Oui. I don't know if it's just me, but the collector ship has always made me think of like a really cool building, but it got covered in poo. I was gonna say it kind of looks like uh, a business building in Gotham. Yeah. Collectors are disrupting communications. We're on our own now. Heavy west. Ah! Taking heavy. Oh. Shield it down. Hide. Buddy. Hide. Mm. Hide. <laughs> she just said, oh, fly, boy, fly! And he did. Want some more? Got one. Those things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. I thought the Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Shit. So the elusive man was right. The Collector's answer to the Reapers. Looks half human. Guess we know what happened to the colonists. No. The Geth impaled their victims on giant spikes to turn them into husks. But we haven't seen any. The Collectors must have already had the husks. They want the colonists alive for something else. Uh... Living victims, that's grim. 
Oh wait, no, these hooks look different. Must be wait, never mind. On the we can do both. What are they up to? Sounds almost worse than what Cerberus did to me. Guess we'll find out when we stop them. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced, evolved. They still die when you shoot them. Let's go save the colonists. The collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Whatever you say, boss lady. Yeah. Peaceful. Usually takes a lot of chemicals for me to get this kind of quiet. All these empty buildings. It's unsettling. Get through my shot. <laughs> Being shielded, you son of a bitch. You bitch of a son. Because of shot, ready. Of a stupid move by that dude, huh? Just two in a row, just two bros sitting in a hot tub. Two collectors Hi. standing near some explosives. <laughs> Three collectors standing in explosives. Oh, Hello. looks like some type of stasis field. Victims helpless, but fully away. What the fuck was that? Like this a long time. Something exploded. Collect a particle beam. How exciting. A meme. It is. I feel like I've heard that before. I must tear you apart, Shepard. I will. You fucking fuck. Bad cover. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, he did. Ignore the fallen. This is what you face. I know you feel this. Oh, Garrus is Garris definitely fucked up. Filled it. I just hate Harbinger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wonder if there's candy in here. Do 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 do. Company, get out here now. Hey, you're you're human. What are you doing out here? You leave them right here. They knew you were here, dude. You had to hear them trying to get in. 
Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean the real? Is that Emmett Selk? No. You know, no. Propaganda. Look at this fucking face. I feel they like that's an everybody. insult. It is, but it's also. <laughs> it's my favorite character, but it's said insultingly. Um, who are you? you I want to know the answer to this one. Name's Dwayne. Mechanic. Okay, if you said your name was Emmett, I would have fucking cracked my shit up. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Commander Alenko here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Uh, investigate Kainalenko. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Commander Olenko? Heard he was some kind of hero or something. That yeah. Nothing to me, though. But rather he'd stayed back in council space. Any idea what he Why was doing he on Horizon? What was he up to? Supposed to be helping us was get his favorite defense color? towers up and running. I got the feeling he was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Well, he could use those towers. Yep. If you have defenses, we can yeah. use them against the collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. One of us should be able to figure it out. We just need the location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. <laughs> I like Garrison's confidence on that one. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> idiots couldn't figure it out, but we definitely can. Uh, wait here. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Okay. I think you're gonna need it. Okay. I assume we don't want to take him with us. Oh god, no. I don't think oh, he comes god, anyway. No. Yeah, he's probably like, are you fucking crazy, dude? Well, that's a lot of shit you're recovering. Ooh, that's not a- that's not eerie. That's not a final boss. <laughs> All good. No bosses here. Mm. Nope. Nice. Direct intervention is necessary. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? The dead are useless. If I must tear you apart, Sean, I will. You are on fire. Hey, look, it's a scion. What? Oh, okay, these guys suck. These guys suck because they can hit you through cover. Oh. Get healed. Come in handy. Yay! Stealing from the dead. Yeah, stealing from the dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Stealing but from the dead. Woo! Probably loaded onto the collector ship by now. We should hurry. <sighs> I have a feeling yeah, this that is was not a level you like. <laughs> that was a great sigh. That yeah, was that was such a like deep a, ass I'm, 
I'm so excited to be in this part of the level. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, bro. Thanks for being a bro, dude. Do you copy? Joker here. Signal sweet, yeah. Commander, but we got you. We need some help with some towers, boy. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Great. We play Piggy in the middle while she sorts out the batteries. Hold them off, got it. We'll stop them. Easy enough. Maybe not. Enemy reinforcements closing in. I suggest you Oh, this kind of level sucks. Fly, bitch. This hurts you. Yeah, Harbinger, this level does hurt me. Shot. So Harbinger will always target you no matter what. No matter what everybody else is doing, a Harbinger always goes for you. Careful about laser duties. A laser dude. Thanks, Jack. Will they attempt to attack the tower, or are you just good as long as you kill? We're good as long as we kill. Mm -hmm. This isn't the part that I dislike. Mm -hmm. As someone who has played the Splatoon games, I know when it's when you have to defend it, something, it fucking sucks. Did I hit him? I hit him! Nice! Nice. You need to do this from multiple towers? Nope, just one. Nice. There we go. There we go. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Heading to cover. Did you want to show me something? No way, that's it. Got to be more soon. No sweat. Okay, here it comes. All right. So what makes this part suck? You'll see. I sure will. Edie, we need that system. System online. Don't know what that is, but keep back. Shoot. This weapon might not actually work because of the way this fucker fucks. Oh, we'll see. Just kicking around. I'm with you. Careful, shields are down. Yeah, he goes to recover.
Oof. Yeah, he just pins you down, huh? Yeah, and then he does that. I don't know what that was. No, he's got a barrier again. Oh, great. Fucking love him. Hey! Yay! Nice! nice. I forgot okay. he would hate. You did pretty good on him. Yeah. Sometimes he's really horrible. Yeah, he seems kind of like if he if he stun locks you, you're fucked. Yeah. He tries to when he does that barrier thing, he tries to yeah. jump on you. Yeah. And then it just wipes out your shields and gives you like one HP. Oh, don't let Yikes. him get away. Yeah, what do what do you expect me to do? <laughs> that ship is huge. Exactly how are we supposed to catch it? Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. More than most, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You were frozen, Olenko. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. All I see your tits have improved, though. You get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. It's good to see you again. It's been too long, Caden. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? <laughs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. Thinking you were gone. It was like losing a limb. Caden, I was Why dead. Why did try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I wasn't even conscious. Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now. I was rebuilt by Cerberus. Why will no one fucking listen to me? Reports. You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. That you were working for the enemy. I don't work I don't work for Cerberus. <laughs> Cerberus and I want the same thing. To save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. Do you really believe that? Or is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? I wanted to believe the rumors that you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. I'm not a traitor. Shut up. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a reaper to manipulate you. Then don't what trust Cerberus. Trust the fact that you just saw the whole colony get yoinked. Damn it, Caden. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're ignoring the real threat. Cerberus? Is so you won't listen aggressive, or is it not telling him off? Both of them tell him off. Which one tells him off in the least bullshitty way? I can see you won't listen to reason. You show Thank you. up after two years and tell me you're working with Cerberus. What does reason figure into any of this? You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. Yeah, I already talked to them. Um... Ugh, Paragon. I could use someone like you and my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. I'd like to think that Ashley would have been just as stupid as you. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. Yep, she is. Enough of this colony. Yep. Imagine, imagine what that's like if you romanced Caden. Um, I'd slap the shit out of him. <laughs> 
Did you not listen to a single fucking word I said? I'm not working for Cerberus, and you're being- And you say, oh, are you sure you don't? Be? Fuck off. I can be paranoid on my own time. I for me? Collectors escape with approximately one-third of Horizon population. Front corporations will funnel surprise and monetary aid to colonial survivors. Collector leader Harbinger demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard. Unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic override, induction of in, 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 of a hive mind. Indication? Collectors. Yeah, that one. Or even Reaper technology at work. Salvage teams collected collector bodies for study. Sweet. And Alenko is an idiot. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, buddy, I get it. I get it, but um, have you not considered the fact that maybe I've considered that more than you have? Yeah. That maybe it's my current day-to-day -day job to consider that? Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. Uh, maybe. That was our first strike. How do we find them the next time? The collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. No more colonies get hit. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? That's off limits. None of your damn business. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. I hope Anderson yeah, slacks, I hope slaps Alenko when he gets back, just like upside the head. Must be fully <laughs> He's like, I can't believe this is with Cerberus. Uh, I fucking heard. Bunk, shut up. <laughs> My team is strong. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Which I assume you means complete everyone's quests if you haven't. And be careful, yeah, Shepard. this is do everybody's Collector loyalty missions. Watching. Let's go. Because I assume there's also more people to, um... Yep. Recruit. Well, there's still Tali. Do it. Hit the Omega yeah. relay. Take the fight to the there's also multiple person. other slots Being still left. Mm-hmm. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though... There's a particular one I would pick. like to do today, if you don't mind. Alright. Um... What do you mean? Something on your mind? No. Just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is too, getting some closure, you know? Is that the last we see of Kain Malenko, or is... Uh, for this game, yes. Oh, exciting. Do you get an email from him? That's dumb. Where he's like, I'm sorry I was a dick. In Mass Effect 3 or in Mass Effect 2? Mass Effect 2. Oh, okay. So in Mass Effect 3, the sky's wide open. I won't, I won't mm -hmm. ask about it until we get there. Hey, buddy. How can I help? Have you got a minute? Not at the moment. Think of anything else? I'll let you know. Upgrades, right? right? There was upgrades, Oops, weren't no. there? No, he's already given us an upgrade. Okay. Also, that was, that was a whoops. Oops on the board. Mm -hmm. I saw the reports on Horizon Command. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that. Thanks. Was I don't feel amazing. Um, I miss him. I mean, I don't know why this is situated like a Paragon one, but. I wish we could have had more time together. Do you have strong feelings for him? No. She's asking if you're into him. We had a job to do and we did it. I understand. Anyway, 
How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson. Please press you one for the B, the or press zero to speak to an operator. See you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need, Commander. You've received a new. I'm glad you can talk to her and she can tell you who who has new stuff though. Mm. I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Is this the elusive man again? No, this is Hackett, Mr. Low Energy Acting. Oh yeah. Hey, Hackett. Hey, white man. What's up? Well, that's kind of cool. Commander, I just realized something. I'll tell you afterwards. We'll this brief. Mm -hmm. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning, I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Investigate? A solo mission. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion. We'll say I'll save her. I don't need more investigative. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Thanks, buddy. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. I guess what I was going to say is I think it's, uh, I just realized it's really cool. What's one of the first mm -hmm. details that's made me go, oh shit, the future's awesome. Um, you can customize your computer screen because it can be a glass shelf. Yes. That's awesome. Can Isn't you imagine it? the cool ass rigs that people can make? Mm hmm. Can I feed Butterfinger? He has food. Can he devour Oops. the blood of my enemies? Uh, not in this one. Oh my time, time to make me look like a birdass. You still cool with your color? Yeah, I love my color. Um, I was gonna say, so that quest we just got from Hackett. Mhm. Mm that will be the second last thing we do. Okay. <laughs> Not a priority, I see. <laughs> Uh, mainly because it's lead into Mass Effect 3. Oh, interesting. Okay. So there is one that you wanted to do today before we end it, before we end it, uh, the yes. stream, right? Yes, but let's go talk to everybody first, yes? Uh, yeah, because there was someone who wanted to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Commander, Jacob sorry, and Miranda. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. You left a note with Chambers. The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. Oh, what's up? What's up, home bye? My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. Oh! I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. But you want to check it out? You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck, see if it's legit. If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Uh, just a quick investigate. Just, just take a look at the options. 
Uh, yeah, let's return. And let's go take a look. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Oh, yeah. Ghost ship story. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then Miranda also wanted to talk to us. Okay. And I assume a certain Turian is probably still calibrating his guns. Uh, I think so, yes. <sighs> what you doing, Ra? The bum ba dum bum ba da dum. Miranda, so... let's have a chat. So yeah, so... that's um, that's. Jacob's loyalty mission. Exciting. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Of course. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another yeah. reason I went to Cerberus for protection. Yeah. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Oh. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Only not anymore. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Let's take a quick look at the investigations. A oh, Miranda's sister. Yeah, let's look at these two sister. options. They seem relevant. She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Okay, and then next is relocation. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. All right, I can help. Yeah, let's get some. Uh, um, My father is extremely telenovela like in here. Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge in the Nos Arsenal <sighs> Garden. Okay. And that, of course. Is Miranda's. Right. Do we get the others coming up or? Yep, they will appear soon. Okay. So you said there was one you wanted to do today. Which was that one? Yeah. I went to recruit someone. Alright. Let's recruit someone. Are they a DLC or are they someone else? Nope, we've got all the DLC. Okay. Good. I, I would like to I would like to become more invested in more characters. We have two on this place if you want to do two, it depends mm. on how much time you feel like we're having. New mm. Oven? Oven? We have we have two to recruit here if you feel like doing both, but that's up to you. Let's do the one you really want to do first. Ilium's the place mm -hmm. with the loyalty quest too, right? Yep. Oh. Three birds. One stone. It's all it's also where Liara is. Three four birds. Four birds, one cup. Damn. <laughs> By the way, speaking of Liara and Asari, they mm -hmm. govern via the internet. They govern the internet? They govern via the internet. They have no, like, parliament. Everything's decided via chat rooms and forums. I fucking... That's great. I love the, the assassin. idea. Thane Krios. Thane Krios Ooh. is a drill trained from childhood as an elite assassin. Proficient. What's a drill? Proficient. Uh, they're like a... They're like a, a amphibian kind of race. Oh, okay. 
Proficient in both long-range sniping skills and close infiltration, he has slowed his reactivities in recent years, but is rumoured to have a target on Ilium. Tally! We don't need to know about Tally. The Justica, Justica Samara. Biotic strength near that of an Asari matriarch. Extensive weapons training. But Sar Samara is a Justica, a rare mem member of an Asaric Asari Montastic group trained in enhanced combat bio biotics alongside standard weapons. Samara was recently sighted on Ilium outside normal Asari space. That's hilarious. Um, mm -hmm. I think the Asari are probably the funniest race so far. <laughs> just conceptually. They have only... Like I they, 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 don't know, they don't know what gender is. But they um, are all lesbian, not not. They're all they're all pansexual lesbian women. Mm -hmm. um, they fuck via the same methods that one would use to transfer information from ancient societies. Mm -hmm. um, their their version of dirty talk is embrace eternity. Mm -hmm. They govern via. Uh, internet memes. They, mm -hmm. they uh, have an inbuilt mommy complex in their very system. Welcome to mm -hmm. the Master Commander Shepard. They so are been instructed to waive all docking hilarious. For your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Thanks. Why do I get a free pass? Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. Oh, Liara! She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Yes. Um. Yeah, yeah. None of these is really too important. Well, let's talk about Liara. Tell me about Liara. Liara. So Liara was here. What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I her said, voice is really interesting. Trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Thank she you. kind of has Again, a weird cadence. City, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. She does. How unusual. Also, this uh, Ilium has one of my favorite like little side stories. Yeah. It's not even a quest. It's just a side story, but it's one of my absolute favorites. Oh. What do you think? I think I've seen this before in uh, one of the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> we were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Glad to hear it. Excuse me, you're Commander Shepard. I saw your, I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. Thanks. Is it because I mind fucked your you. leader a lot? It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I'm listening. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide, we borrow. We build, but we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Are you on Ilium? I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. That's not suspicious or frightening at all. Um, thank you for the message. Thank you for giving me that information. 
I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. That's not eerie at all. Hey, look. Holy crap, Hi! Shepard. I thought you were dead, Shepard. The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. Mm -hmm. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. I have not forgotten you. Newly appointed second favorite character only because you're a Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> I remember. Oh, wait, no. Not, no, 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 no. The happy one. The good one. It's my pleasure. Help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. Yeah. Beer, beer, beer. What Let's go. You, William, you know, that you can talk about. Um I'm on a mission. I'm, I'm a woman on a top mystery. Secret project. Mostly putting together a team and doing research right now. Sounds vague. No offense taken. I've been undercover enough to know how it goes. Yeah, I bet you do. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Could you talk to her in showing you the good stuff? Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. I'm a big spender. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. I want advanced merchandise. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. Uh -huh. That's because it's still in development on Novaria and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up. <laughs> but this is Novaria. You have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. What about uh? Is what about the schematic going? Hey, gimme, gimme, or a little bit. Are we done? Is that everything you needed? Everything and more. You're a lifesaver, Shepard. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Yes, I will. Come on. I don't just care who that woman was. I just know you're my second this favorite character. Handy. <laughs> I am other than you're my fav second favorite character on the Citadel. You're my first favorite character on the Citadel. You're my second favorite character overall. Because my first favorite Whoa. character is Yuri Lowenthal. Hermia <laughs> is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. You love doing this. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or a C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. Um... Yeah, let's go through all of this, and then I want to flirt with her. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program, and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. 
You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. Do you know you're my favorite character? Research. That's not Yuri Lowenthal. Lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Must be hard going undercover so often. No, I missed my chance to tell her the dress looked good on her. Oh, sorry. We can do it back. Try to talk to people. You forget how to react. It's fine. It's another cover, you know. Uh, but you enjoy it. But you enjoy it. Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence, and they never see me coming. How'd you end up on those? You're so cool. You You're so cool. Surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. That'll hold me over. It's not. It doesn't let me. It's not available anymore. Grow up poor at all. And surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Sorry. I'm sorry. Right. I didn't. We didn't know. Say it. I wanted to. I wanted to learn about a cool backstory anyway. I'm looking for the best tech upgrade you have. Of course, I can help you with the current salt to figure out what options. I have officially eaten all the cookies. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. They're not soft, just unconcerned. They only flaunt what they can afford to lose. Let's go see Liara. Let's go Let's see, go see Liara. Liara. Let's go see Liara. Have you faced in a sorry commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me. Or I flay you alive with my mind. Shepard. Do you remember Sarah's who said that? My calls. Um, no. It's her mother. Oh, nice. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Sources? Wait, no. You have sources now? A few. Sources. Well, that was supposed to be Paragon. Even a little mm -hmm. hired muscle. I wanted to say a Mr. Two, but yes, that wasn't Paragon. Broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. Come with me! Come with me! If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What things need help? What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. I think her face model has glitched. If you could disable huh. security at key points Our face? Ilium, you no, Liara's. She's I making mean. an odd expression that she doesn't that usually make. Deal. No? Um, I'll see what I can do. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. That eyebrow. Help me pay a great debt. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive. Is this a new voice actor? Asana Dantius. Nope, same one. He contacted a woman hmm. named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. You just knew that? That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. She's being tracked? Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. 
Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Okay. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How are you? How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, thank you, Shepard. This may help me. I'll talk to you later, Liara. So the let's go get the Shadow Broker thing is a DLC we can do with her later. So do you have it? Yes. Nice. But I assume that the one you want to do is not that one? No, that's like two hours long. Yikes, okay. I do but eventually want to see it. Win hmm? It does feature Yuri Lowenthal. Yay. I do eventually want to see it because I saw some Dragon Age 2 fan art back in the day that had something to do with the Shadow Broker, but I didn't know what it meant. You, Shepard. Yeah? Ow. Who are you? <laughs> I like that expression on them. What the hell was that for? I don't even know you. Like you don't know. Your friend came into my bar, harassed my people, and tried to get the deed to the place. That crap might fly on Omega, but Ilium has laws. I've got security feeds all over my bar. If you or your group bothers my people again, I'll have you arrested so fast, you'll redshift on your way to the prison transport. What the fuck does that mean? Let's go to our bar. I want to see this. Jack's like, oh, I'm going to kill her. Straight up. <laughs> so, we won't look at them right now. Oh, we can look at them. This is my favorite group. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family <laughs> simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I go on for a while. It's funny. That's funny. I'm Commander Shepard. That's right. Anybody messing with me will answer to my good friend, Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad. Hi, Conrad. We met on the Citadel. <laughs> I wanted to become a Spectre. You're alive. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. For crying out loud. Conrad, why are you acting like me? Well, you were gone, right? And the galaxy still needed protecting. So I decided to finish what you started. In your honor. Uh, security detection, I guess? Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military. Much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. In seven armor? How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. <laughs> Bartender in the back. What are you doing here, Conrad? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sandy. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Let me handle this. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. I like Let the Sasari character. I like the bartender. How would you have liked to be my tenth Thanks favorite character? Care of crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death. I'm, I'm losing track of the, of the list, honestly. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? Matriarch? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. 
Which I do here at this bar. I know, not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Seventh favorite now character. Krogan, who fought in the Rachni Wars. You have replaced Jacob. Fought in the Krogan Rebellion. A theater is great. I love a theater. I like you. Um, yeah. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. Tell me all about you. Know, you. Commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. Ha! If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. And then? What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. <laughs> You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. Ooh. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen in the muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Working at the bar. There's a matriarch in a bar serving drinks. It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Man, I like her. She's getting a promotion. Fifth favorite character. Let's go. Nearly a thousand years. Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. That's it for now. For telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? Just a drink. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Thanks. So I just, you know, drinks. It. I cannot, She's one of I my can't favorites. Take, I can't take the drinks you set up? That's sad. No. It's not interactable. Okay. I assume the mystery drink is just wild. Mm-hmm. Okay. Someday. Someday. Not today. So, we did you have... notice anything interesting about what she told us? About the... Sorry. She told us a lot. Mm-hmm. Would play by the rules. What specifically? That she's a father? Oh yeah, no, I, I, I've heard that that's something that you can do. Mm-hmm. I think you told me that. Mm-hmm. 
And? She's awfully close to somebody's office, isn't she? Oh! Wait. Huh. When she was talking about the fuck up with Sarah and yikes. Yep. Holy shit, yikes. Listen, I know the data is vital for the Corosa family. Ooh, shit, yikes. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Yikes. Okay. You're not actually you're not actually supposed to find that out till Mass Effect 3, but if you pay attention, it's kinda obvious. You say that about a lot of things that I don't find obvious. <laughs> That's Serena, true. You did that back in FF14, too. <laughs> That's true. Uh, some of the questions. Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Um, where is he? Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Uh, investigate. Uh, yeah, let's go through these. I want to know more about what we're about to do. Work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs, high tech killers, undisciplined but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Who is she? A wealthy speculator with a nasty disposition. She's killed her business rivals, government officials. I heard she even took out her own sister. If anyone deserves killing, she does. We're Thane! Tell me where I can find Thane. The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Do you have access? It doesn't sound like Nasana is just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You better be ready. Uh, let's well, go. I'll I'll grab, oh, I want to grab something first. Oh. What are we grabbing? There's more shops around here. Oh, okay. The terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. You're sure again? I recognize that armor. You're with that other guy, Werner, Commander Shepard's friend. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh stop the red sand dealers. Um a lie, I guess? I, I only have the Paragon points for a lie, I think. Right? Pardon? Or, wait. If either of these you options will. are selectable, that means I have the points for it. Yes. Um, there is a part of me I, that, that was like, oh, Paragon, but the other part of me is going, I feel like Shepard's sick to shit of this. Shepard is sick to shit of this. Let's, let's be sick to shit of this. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Werner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No, you're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? I'll do that. Talk to Werner and I'm gone. I swear. <laughs> that might be useful. The pure manifestation of I'm fucking done with this. I wasn't gonna be mad at Conrad, but I will be mad at you. Rose of Ilium. Let 
Your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any. Is that a priest or a bard? Or it's a cro. Poet? It's a Krogan. Poet. Oh. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Do you need help? Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no. You don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which I know, Krogan. So it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> I love these two. I love these two. Uh, reason for both of these. Let's hear, let's hear their story. He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Oh. Long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It makes mm -hmm. me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. You can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. Did you talk to him? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Nana sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Aww. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. Uh, it, yeah. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. You should take him back. Look, Paragon he's obviously points. crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby making machine? He said I wasn't, but if he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't. And you've already decided. I nice I words, Shepard. About it like that, and I do trust him. If he said it, I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. No problem. Bye. I love that one. Ah, that's sweet. Fish. Model. By the way, they should yeah. show up again later. Good. Hopefully, in a good way. Yes. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring. That's horrible. There's a 12 page contract for shit. In the form of a rear just a car calling herself Samara. Samara did not time. For an interview, leaving us in the dark. What brought you got the things? Mm -hmm. Ready to go find your assassin? Do the deed. I am now. Let's go. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Then we got to and get then they kick back, back together with the bar. Huh? Then we got to see Char get back together with his girlfriend. Yeah! And his poetry was really cute, too. No was, wasn't it? Yeah. Jack's kind of a powerhouse, huh? Mm-hmm. What's Morden good at? Not a lot. <laughs> the towers are heavily guarded. He's actually the weakest combat wise. Oh, this assassin. You planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. He's mostly tech moves, like blowing stuff up and hacking things. Mm -hmm. Here we are. The towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Uh, 
I don't understand the difference between these two. Renegade Paragon. Paragon! We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. T just the word tower. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> right? Yeah, I was just grabbing some hand cream. Ow! Ow almighty. I love how you still have your knife and fork on. I do. You're ready to eat. Good luck, Shepard. Always. Always. That's not an assassin, that's robots! This is the part where you play the Pink Panther theme. <laughs> dun 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 dun. He's still alive. Hi. I can't feel my leg. My chest is killing me. I'm sorry. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Without warning? They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mech said there was no time. Um, I think there's a paragon option coming up. Okay, paragon. Then the dog. He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Let's help him. That should ease the pain. Medijo. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. So? I think I'm. Better. Good. Find the other workers. Help them. Uh, do, do what you think. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. You should be safe here. Thank you. Yee. Okay. A Solarian never forgets. Operations a little bit incorrect. Oh, I put on hand lotion and then medication. So far, so good. Then I put mm. on a band aid, and mm. it doesn't like that I put on the lotion first. <laughs> it does not like it at all. Sorry, Yuri Lowenthal. Bye, Yuri Lowenthal. Bye, Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> Die, Yuri Lowenthal. You totally heard him then, right? <laughs> yeah. Exciting. 
Honestly, the weird thing is, I've never seen Yuri Lowenthal. Whenever I hear the words Yuri Lowenthal, I always think Matt Mercer's face. Um, he's kind of a handsome blonde dude. Handsome. Matt, actually having a, one of the um, most profitable voices in gaming. I know, right? He did a um, D and D game with what's his name? Will Wheaton. Oh, like a podcast? Yeah, it was before Critical Role was a thing. It was like one of the first ones. One of the it was first. Really good. Yeah. What was it called? Oh, I can't remember. But it was. I have to uh, look. It up. Yeah, shoot it to me later. But it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I said they were going to do a sequel, but then they never did. Darn. I think that was around the time, like, Maker went bust. Um... When they were part of Maker. Hmm. You have waited right in there. It was just this fucker. There he goes again. Oh. No one quite makes a scream like that the near though. Right. Oh, they just put your all in a recording studio and they say, okay, go ham. Make some noises. Whatever the character version of a Wilhelm scream is, do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the low and full scream. Low and full scream. I should rename this. Oh, there stream you go. Too. Goodbye. <laughs> I should rename this stream to Aaron and Ivan talk about Yuri Lowenthal for three hours. I mean, it wasn't three hours. I spent some time being, uh, being horny for a beautiful, beautiful lady. For Gianna. Yeah. You can't even remember her name. I can't. But that's not a surprise. I have ADHD. I can't remember anyone's name. Except for the Yuri Lowenthal. Except for Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal. Danny DeVito. <laughs> no, okay. Unfortunately, I have the the kind of brain rot where I'm like, if a person doesn't have like a cartoonishly easily recognizable silhouette mm. and brand, I don't know who they are. Yeah. So like, I know Danny DeVito on sight, but if you ask me doesn't. to tell tell you. Who Ryan Gosling was, I would just explode on the so on the spot. I mean, I think I'd have trouble picking him out of a role of like those. Yeah. Like Jack Black, immediately recognizable. Uh, absolutely. I love that. Uh, Hugh Jackman on thin ice. I can, but only because Australian. I can, but only honestly, only because of all of the movie musical Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? Yes. Shalom. Yes. yes. It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here... When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Uh, investigate? Uh, they don't really have anything. They don't really have anything unless you want to hear more about Thane. 
You know, let's hear about these. Sasha. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I have no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. I Thank you. Too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody. Let's amble, everybody. Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head, because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving. <laughs> nice, nice, hot, cool line. He's like, wait. Can you? Can, I've been. I've spent like three hours standing in, in this elevator. Can you please tell me the? T I. I can't word anymore. Tell him, her the thing that I spent three hours thinking of. It's really cool, and I and I want somebody to say it. That went over so much better in my head, and then it did. <laughs> Being a like streamer is hard. Hadn't have, if he hadn't have gotten those words out. Being a streamer is hard and is also suffering. I was just thinking the same thing myself, Garrus. Well, there's no lack of cover. Enemy, have a pleasant day. Hello. Oh, there is Krogan here. Was like, get his health down just a little more. All right. We. I haven't heard from teams four or five. There is a renegade option coming up. Do you want to take it? My team's um, ready. only if it's funny. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. <laughs> I'm looking for Thane. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? I'll ask you again. Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through Bye. I'm glad you knew where that was going. Yeah. How about goodbye? Harsh. But I guess he had it coming. He did. Sorry, Garrus. I hope you don't mind that one. I hope you don't mind that one. Yeah. I hope you didn't mind that one. Sorry, that one is just fun. I think that one. Yeah, if it's funny. My puppy. What? Oh, it's puppy. my puppy now. My puppy now. Oh my god. My puppy Deja now. Vu. I have been in this place before. Who the fuck is shooting? I don't know, but they're doing a very good job of it. Bye, Yuri. <laughs> there he goes. Yo, yo, yo. Hi. Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Special delivery. <laughs> Jack's like, I heard you wanted to buy this one. About that one. <laughs> he is for sale. You guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Let me help you. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Teller. Don't... Don't come any closer. 
Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the Mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Talon! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? No. It wasn't me. What happened here? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. Let's keep going. There are still Mercs up here. We should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. No problem, uh, Solarian with titty windows. your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. I like how we just got that little jab in there. Was that necessary? Probably not. Did we do it anyway? Yes. Team. I think I shot her in the womb. You definitely got her in the... something. I assume they have wombs. I mean, you don't know that. That could have been like her fifth stomach. That's true. The secret fifth one that's super taboo to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's the one where they make chocolate ice cream. I swear I've heard that urban rumor before somewhere. Apparently some place somewhere like modified a cow so it would make ice cream in, in its stomachs. See that's not cor that cannot be correct. That that is something that they did in Roly Polioli. I don't know if you know what Roly Polioli is. I do know what Roly Polioli is. It was a bit yeah, after was... a bit after my time, but yeah, that was that was my childhood. Roly Poly. Naughty Oli. was Naughty was my jam. I've never heard of Naughty. Naughty, the little man with the red and yellow car. Naughty, I can't remember. That sounds so fucking twee. That sounds, that sounds like something. If I was born in England, that sounds like I would be. Oh, it's on, English. Like... It's English. Sorry. It is very yeah, it, English. Yeah. It sounds like it would be ra based on that and Paddington Bear. I don't care what you do. Now I get across that bridge. Now it'd be the time for being explosive. And his adventures in Toyland. I also loved Mr. Squiggle. That sounds like a, a, an animal's name. He was a puppet that had a pencil for a nose. Interesting. And you'd set people would send in like squiggles, little, and he would turn them into pictures. Oh, well, that's cute. My favorite character was Blackboard, which he drew on. Yeah. Like as an easel, his name was Blackboard, and he was always grumpy, and he would always yell at Mr. Squiggle to hurry up. Yeah. Also, I... Mr. Squiggle was from the moon. Oh, it, it's fascinating. I was of the era of um, Roly Poly Oly, Bear in the Big Blue House, Out of the Box. That was that's the nostalgic stuff for me. 
I was I was on the cusp of um, Bear in the Big Blue House. I did used to watch it, but I was a little bit too old for it. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I had I had that uh, trait where you watch a show um, that you're way too old for, mm -hmm. and you still have a lot of you still have a lot of fun with it. I think the first oh, time yeah, I, I did that a show that was below my age grade, and I also didn't enjoy it was one time. The very first time was Teletubbies. Teletubbies? Yeah, I didn't know what Teletubbies was, uh, but I heard the concept and I thought it sounded awesome. So I waited, I, I got up at 4 o'clock in the morning to watch Teletubbies, because that's when they were airing. It was 4 o'clock in the freaking morning. Mm -hmm. And I woke up, and I watched it, and I was the most disappointed I'd ever felt up until that point in my life. <laughs> I love the fuck out of the Teletubbies. It was- I was too old for the Teletubbies by the time it came out. I was- I was too old for it, but I loved them. I think I just- I- I expected a show of at least the same, like, I guess, plot integrity as Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> and what I got was- plot. I mean, it, I don't- I, I don't think it helped that I didn't like- I didn't like babies. I didn't like babies, and oh, we yeah. constantly keep cutting back to that sun baby. Sun baby. And I felt, like, offended, like I was waiting for something to happen, but instead I was just getting children's party clowns. I love the, um, vacuum cleaner. Wait. Yeah, that's Before valid. you kill me, just tell me who hired you. Because he was always so done with everything. Uh, you tell me. Who do you think it was? Screw you. Charming. Kill me then, I'm not playing your stupid games. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You still think it's me? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price, we can make this problem go away. No, we can't. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? I met some of your workers. You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people because they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Like a fucking dancer. Hi! Damn. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Oh, hi, Lens Flare. Whoa. That made him look like he had a Chad chin for a second. Uh, Paragon. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize. But prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Uh, why? Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. So I see. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. Is bastard the the nice option? No. No. Okay, I want you on my team, buddy. Let's cut to the chase. 
I need you for a mission. I don't know why it's positioned where the Paragon spot is. With the collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. Find a way. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. Is are you sick prying? No, I was just curious. Let's be curious. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I'm sorry. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough, and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. He's a serious one. He's who I think you might want to romance. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting read on me, and I don't know what it says about me. Recruited Thane Krios for the team, but medically questionable unless the mission is resolved quickly. League representatives are dealing with public damage to Denanus' towers. Well, you gotta admit, you get more done on Cer uh, a Cerberus than you than you did in Alliance. Mm-hmm. On paper, at least. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. Jacob's so salty. Mm, he doesn't uh -huh. like him. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Um. You know what? Thane's done nothing wrong. What's the problem, Jacob? Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. I like that Shepard bows back. He seems quite civil. Give him a chance, buddy. We need all the help we can here. get. It's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Weird point to have a hang up on, Jacob. So, do you want to do the other quest or leave it? Or just go talk to him and leave it. How many more quests do we have? We have the... We have Samara and then Miranda's loyalty. Samara's isn't too long. How long is the loyalty? Longer. It's Longer? Got a of stages. It's got a couple of stages in it. Okay. <sighs> Maybe... I have no idea. <laughs> I don't really know. What well, um, if we Samara were to commit to the rest? Of... Huh? Samara won't take too long. Or do you want to finish everything tonight? I was gonna say, um, how long do you estimate Ilium would take altogether? 
All together. An hour and a half, two hours. Hour and a half for all of it? Mm-hmm. Uh, might be a little long, huh? Might be a little late. Mm. How about we do some more and then we'll see where we're at. Alright, sounds good. We'll go talk to Thane first, though. Mm-hmm. I also need to fix my weapon. interesting that it seems like in most cases if mm -hmm. you just what do you call it if you're just nice oh, hi, sir. if you just pick the oh hey zerk was good i was gonna say um if, you, if in most cases if you're just nice if you're just paragon you'll mm -hmm. start getting on your way to like a relationship whereas in dragon age yeah. you have to pick options that align with their stuff. We were up late last night, Zach. Uh, uh, look, you got a message from Kirihi. Alright. Let's take a look at it. From Captain Kirihi. Shepard, glad you're alive. Hope rumors of death were exaggerated. If my vampire couldn't kill you, I doubt much could. Got word from Morden that he's active again with you. He re requested some classified data to help with countermeasures for a stasis field used in home and colony attacks. I worked with him on STG. He's a good agent. Nervy for, nervy for a tech. Bit of kawaika, though. What? That's literally what they literally said, about, what each they said other. about each other. Oh. Bit of an ass. Bit of a kawaika. Uh, Got it. Uh, yeah. Didn't get permission to investigate tax on your human colonies, but I'm asking around anyway. If I find anything useful, I'll send it your way. Hold the line, Kirihi. Thanks. Hold the line, huh? He got really famous mm -hmm. for that one. Jack would like to talk to you. Oh yeah, and Jack also wants to talk to us. Hey Jack, let's go. First, we're gonna talk to Joker though. Okay. Joker! Joker! Come on, Manzai Duo, let's go. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. We're still friends, barely. He moved on. I can't blame him. He was frontline with you against a Reaper, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? Did someone switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. I assume everything's going well up here. How's it going in the cockpit? Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Later, Tater. In my heart, I'm imagining Anderson walking up deliberately to Alenko and smacking him over his dumb shit head. It's in my heart, it's in my mind. I'm thinking it. I'm dreaming <laughs> it. I'm willing it into being. Willing it into being. Mm hmm. Oh, Mr. Hey, baby. Yeah, okay, so he and Morden are both like what a cloaca to each other. That's just yep, that's just their yep. the vibe. Awesome. Yeah. Love that. Love that for them. I think. Need something. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Give, Give me your system. upgrade. My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Let me know if you want to pursue that. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When yep. we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You yeah. don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It 
It's called Keprel Syndrome. Show, tell me. What exactly is the problem? Well, yes, I think I understand that, that, that what you have sent. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. No, oh, no, I don't like what you sent. I don't like what you sent at all. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Why can't it be cured? Can't they do something about that? The Hammer have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Uh, what is this shouldn't be a problem supposed to... Uh, I don't remember. Hmm. Only one way to find out, I guess. Then don't live on Kaje. Or use Breather. Oh, yeah. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, you'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Can we help? Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hammer Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Do you need something? Have a few Later. Minutes. I'd like mind if I not at all. Do you want to ask about this stuff? Sure. Drill and Hanar in, the re in their religion. The Drill live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. Have we met Hanar? Quite well. If you ever get there's a jellyfish. The Hanar, they tell you oh! You would find them warm. Do you know a soul name? I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers that's a beautiful name mm -hmm. what the hell that's a beautiful name when you pray for the wicked who exactly are you praying to that depends on the circumstance to find my target i speak with them on kira lord of hunters when i act to defend another arashu goddess of motherhood and protection and when i have taken my target i speak with kalahira goddess of oceans and the afterlife uh, Oceans and Afterlife? Oceans and Afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider yes, they do. Have you played Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land. Accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. You're polytheistic? I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Okay. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. The reason I think you might want to romance him is because I think you'll find him really interesting. I'll find him what? You cut off. Really interesting. I do like an interesting character. Honestly, nobody else has interested me so far, so I think I think I might take you up on that. Especially once you see the special talent that Drill had. I can't make my, uh, I can't show you right now how high my eyebrow is climbing, but it just did. Gonna wait for a bit. I'm oh my god, Garrus. <laughs> Your calibration, I, oh, my dude. At the, moment, the moment I said that, I realized how, in, like, inappropriate that could sound, and it's not, it's not meant to be inappropriate. I just Listen, I'm not, what, what. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Nothing at all.
Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> and yes, I do. I am. I am showing off the fact that my hand's covered in freaking lotion right now. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. Mighty fine ass. Mighty fine ass. Okay, so we're gonna do one more mission, and then we're gonna call it kaputs, I think. Mm -hmm. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. Okay, bye. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'm listening. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man, never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. Uh... Yeah, let's hear it all. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. Experience for no reason? They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? I wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. Investigate. Escape. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Other kids? There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. Oh, You're okay. absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'll confront them, because um, I don't think they're I'm different. i talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragya, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place myself. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Why now? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Uh, blowing up a... let's investigate. Destroying a Attacking service base. our allies is gonna derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? Let's go! Set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. Thanks. Let's say hi to our son over here. Yeah, hello. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open, not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Grant put target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. 
like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Um, any other human imprints? What other human info is floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Shepherds shaking their fucking head. Uh, do you have no reaction? Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. And yet you became strong. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Oh, me too, buddy. That's a that's a real gifted kid burnout moment. Uh huh. Relatable. Oh, hmm. Let's have a look at your new fish. Fish, 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 fish. Time, fish, fish, fish. Time. Hey, fishes. And, and then of course, give it up for Mr. Butterfinger. Hey. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's go get tomorrow. Yep, this is gonna be the last thing I can do, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we've talked to everyone. Nope. I don't my psych report. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything. Is there anything? Nothing. Should... Anything else? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. I just get a feeling Thanks, he Kevin. doesn't care. Yeah, man. Mood. We. Party and Elliot. Woo! Not bringing your man. No, oh, bring your possible man. Thanks. Let's go, let's go. Oh, that's interesting. We're doing an actual landing animation this time. Again. Oh, I can skip it. Right. Oh. No, it's okay. I just- I was a little confused. <laughs> Thane's first act is to run away daintily. We had a confusion. We were all confused. I guess that was news about the towers. Mm -hmm. It's nice, no? Oh yeah, we need to go talk to um, Conrad. If this is the best yep. you have, I'll make do. But you're certain that I can't believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. Our time, baby. I like how it's just kind of like 
confirmed that they got the whole Star Wars slave girl thing going on, but it's literally just mm -hmm. Asari college girls. Yeah, it's... <laughs> the weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. Um... Does the... <laughs> I'm trying to think of if the lie is funny or not. <laughs> I think the lie is funny. The lie is funny. Let's lie. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop Thank pretending you. to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least for a little while. It's really good to have you back. Now... I guess not. Please. Huh? No, it was, I, I think not. it was pretty funny. That was still pretty funny. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. Just looking around. Pleasure as always. You're moving up the ranks. <laughs> I love Athena. <laughs> Wee. Rockin', rockin' and rollin' Down to the beach we're strollin' And the seagulls some peck at my head Not fun, oh the seagulls Oh, stop it now Kurosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Um. Uh, why does it matter? Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Kurosa family. It's used for high level reproductive negotiation. Hmm. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this okay. hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. I'm glad I could help. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Aww. Thanks for handing me a handful. Oh, oh, that's the credits. <laughs> I thought he just put a handful of experience points in my hands. He's like, here! I don't know how I'm holding on to this, but it's yours now. One second. Mr. Found Plastic. Oh. <sighs> the cat is attempting to poison himself again. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus system. No. Oh. Shepard, I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Theros during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope? How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Now, how are, are people in danger? Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zoo's hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I Thanks. fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Can I offer assistance? What's Is your purpose? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists oh. had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but... 
The medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Why are you so green? Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Investigate real fast. Just want to see the options. Uh, health problems. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Hmm. Let's ask the other question. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. But Tell me more about it. Was we can't hire Salt Goodman, but we can do the next they best thing. Perform medical scans and deliver <laughs> treatment for next to nothing. <coughs> Which is good. good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Um, I assume is this a real threat is a little patronizing, so yeah, let me handle it. Yeah. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Hmm. Interesting. I Hi. I your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest yeah. you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Mm, what's the point? Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Fair use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Fasty. Um. I assume we're not going to get anything out of her. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. That sounds personal. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. That sounds like not our fault. Or our problem. It's not. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Tell me about your family. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes. It is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I, I'm not. A, I didn't. Oh. Yo, Emmett Salt, get up. <laughs> up, up, up. 
Oopsie doodles. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Nice. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? It's not all bad. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for okay. what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. All right. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. You want to have brain sex again? Mm-hmm. Things like you know, Irinia won't even talk to Shepard. With all due respect, I'm looking for an what the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? I don't want to talk. Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilian. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asara's face. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Uh, hail a cab! It's... I didn't have a chance to say it while we were there, but it's not easy! I figured it was about time someone said that. Oh, we can change Thane's outfit too if you wanted to have cool sunglasses. Sure, let's see him in the, his cool clothes. Just, just to see. Not that his titty window wasn't acceptable, because that was perfectly acceptable. There, there's a mod that just takes that shirt completely off. I'm <laughs> just like, <laughs> cut out the middle end. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Interesting Shepard and her situation. secret service. What? We can talk to him first. Shepard and her secret service. I thought you said Shepard and her secret perverts, and I'm like, I guess. <laughs> well, there's, <laughs> there's probably art of that somewhere. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Do you know where she is? Tell I think why is everyone so nervous is obvious at this point. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. I should uh, go. Goodbye. It's, it's not important. Yeah. Talk to the police. And then do the door slammed on her face. Guns. 
Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need her help. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Shall I yeah. the mission then? If you're getting her out of my district, <laughs> she will. She sure the fuck will. Hey, guess what? What? The stream just balked. Yeah, I can see that. Discord just borked too. Is it dead? It's dead. How long has it been dead? Not very long. Once we got to the spaceport. It seems to do it when we're in lo certain loading screens. Hmm. Oh, we're back. Are we back? We're back. Mm -hmm. We're back. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Um, give me directions. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Uh, I want to hear about Justicars real fast from her. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... Humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. Interesting. I like info like that. It's really humanizing. The idea... Mm -hmm of just kind of knowing what they are in their own culture in comparison yeah. to like a culture we would recognize mm -hmm. uh opinion of samara what do you think of samara herself she's been a justicar longer than three of your lifespans whoever she was before she swore that oath that person is dead um fear of samara people seem nervous about samara's presence asari admire justicars we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave a sorry space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt bolas. Alright, let's get, get out of here. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipsed mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. I have to go. Good luck. Bye. We should find some Thanks. Before the detective does. I like how when you're in this group, this grouping, um, Garrus doesn't get to be like, oh wait, we gotta do this. Jack's like, stop being such a fucking uh boy scout that's like, we have to go do this and that and the other thing. And I told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Uh, area, let's consider this extra stock surplus. Ship the rest of Thax in its normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. You good? Yeah, what do you want to do with it? Upload the message or leave it? Oh, um, I don't know what this even means. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button. Whoops, counter! Ding. When I do my streams, I need to have a shit counter. <laughs> you get whoops and I get shit. I'll send you the thingy. 
You need to be shooting? Yep. Is it a merc? Yep. Hmm. Fascinating. Ammo, 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 ammo. can't imagine the name of the ship your life hangs on the answer lieutenant you can kill me but one of us will take you down just a car Ooh, i like that flying animation mm -hmm. oh, i i see i see the idea behind her oh, hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friends or foes? Friends! I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me. But I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm taking out the Collectors. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here with the Eclipse Sisters. I like her model. She's very interesting. I must mm -hmm. find the I thought you liked Samara. She left on before the trail goes mm -hmm. cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. What just happened? Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara starts killing anyone in her way? I am afraid so. Maybe I can help. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Uh, investigate real fast to see if there's any info we need. Um, strict code. Oh, well, I kind of want to know what this details of the code. Quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Okay, where should I start? Do you have any leads? The Volus I can tell it's not a change of heart. She's just literally lawful. To kill him. Mm -hmm. She's lawful Get the neutral. Truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. She's like, I think she's like lawful, lawful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's like pure I lawful. Like pure lawful. I actually think she's, I she's a really interesting take on lawful good. She's, you, she's doing law, she's doing good by the definition of good, but like mm -hmm. in the most extremely lawful way possible. Mm -hmm. She's like if a paladin took it even a step further. Mm -hmm. Hello again, Earthclan. Did you speak to the detective? Start talking. Why are the mercs after you? 
I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely a punch him? merchant trying to make his way no. in life. Work with me. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Investigate? Um, anything you need from here? No. Okay. I don't think there's any point in telling him he brought it on himself, but I might as well anyway. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Nah, it's, it's fine. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Thanks for the warning, dude. You definitely won't stab me in the back later on. This is not going to be a problem that affects me in the slightest. I want you to remember My what he said about dude. the mercs. Each Eclipse sister has to kill? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Dog-a-donk. Okay, so we want to stay out of the clouds. We can be in the clouds for a little bit and it'll make our biotics stronger, but as we don't have biotics, it doesn't really help us. It yeah. might help Jack, though. It also does the same to the NPCs as well. So I'm also assuming that the NPCs, or not the, yeah, uh, the NPCs in your party uh, are smart enough to not just stand in them. Usually. Usually. It also affects the enemies. Yeah, because failing a quest just because some idiot stood in the, in the toxic cloud of BS is rough. Bye. Oof. Hmm. Oh my god, his fucking sunglasses. <laughs> I think we need to switch him back after this. Can do. Just because it's so funny to see him with the little, sun little roll-out sunglasses. It's funny to see Jack's like that too, but it's an improvement. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. You're in an enemy uniform, and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I, <laughs> I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. Oh. Renegade, I assume, would have just shot her. Air? Yes. Yeah. Uh... Do you need either of these options? No. Go. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. This 
might be useful. I forgot to warn you about the renegade option. Oh. No, it's okay. She was in a uniform. I know that... Hmm? She was in a uniform. She was? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. They've seen us. I think that's why we basically just got out of the way, right? Hmm? That's why we just went with the option of, like, go, leave. Maybe. Weakening their integrity. Maybe? Maybe. Your Maybe toe. what? Maybe. What? Maybe. We only had go or tell me about the mercs. Yeah, because I didn't let you shoot her. Huh. I forgot that it was a thingy. An option? Mm. Might have saved us some trouble down the line. Yeah. She's not a good person. Oopsie. Yeah, oopsie. Yeah, oopsie. Oop. Ding. You know that murder they're investigating? Yeah, I assumed. It's okay, we can report it to the police. Yay! Which is, I assume, the one, the one that you do if you forgot to do the renegade option. fan art of Samara at like at all. Mm, you might be looking for the wrong person. No, just like when I'm not looking for anything, just like around. Uh, Liara by far has the most fan art. You can't you can romance Samara, but you never get the sexies. I guess that sort of explains it. Well, that's a whole gunship, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm also running out of ammo. Should have picked up from somewhere else. There isn't any. What do you do when you run out of ammo? This quest is kind of glitched, and it doesn't drop a lot of ammo. So what do you do? There is an area up here where I'll be able to get some. I'll tear you apart. Right. Well, don't die before you get there. Did you see what the enemy just did? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wee. She really just said just sloop, swoop, electric slide. Get that ammo, get that ammo. Mm -hmm. Close exploding rounds blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. Elnora was the killer. If we'd known, we 
could tell the detective this. I mean, Jack's like, uh, it's not over till it's over, amigo. Did you get the ammo you were looking for? There's no ammo there. Hmm? There's no ammo there. Where's the place that you said you could get more? <laughs> Up here. Oh. <laughs> did, did the robot just tell me to be careful? Careful. Tonk. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. And then Jack just getting in the head. Emma! Here we go. This is the part I hate the most in this quest. I see why. Find cover for God's sake. Down, doggers. Was that it? Mm -hmm. Something. Something tells me that you don't like waiting out enemy attack patterns. This is shipping manifest shows that Pitney Four sold two thousand units of Maybe. X3 to the Eclipse. Maybe. Six hundred units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. Sell it to the Volus. He'll pay. Uh, red sand. We're running into a lot of red sand addicts these days. Idiots. Who would do that to themselves? Effects of red sand. What does red sand do? A little snort gives you enough biotics to move a pencil around with your mind for a little while. Why would these sorry buy it? All the sorry have some biotic power. Why would they use red sand? You get a great high too. Hmm. Uh. Just using it makes them idiots? You think just using drugs makes them idiots? They're looking for something they won't find. Makes them easy victims. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. We gotta keep moving. Yep. Jack is anti-drugs. <laughs> this is this is great. This part's great. Oh. Hi. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotic made flesh. You're high. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great <laughs> biotic wind. <laughs> More like a great biotic windbag. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. Smell it, huh? They may laugh when I fall over. But they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Fair wave. We need to keep moving. Good luck with everything. <laughs> Fair, Earth Clan. You're just in time to witness my crowning achievement. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. Okay. I shall toss with Thea about my own. I think a there's a off. paragon up coming up. Fifteen Craig okay. says the little guy doesn't get five steps in before the Merc explodes him. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. You should lie down. Wasaya will tear you apart. 
Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. Okay, yeah, okay. Stonk. But great wind. Biotic god. How did I make him tired? I'm... By just pushing him? I... <laughs> what was I saying? What is he doing? Well, he's in a uh, uh, suit like the Quarian, so maybe we knocked something. I don't know. Maybe right. Oh. Yes, well, I'm tired. Oh, map. Destroy the universe later. He doesn't deserve to live. Well, doesn't matter. He did. He's funny. Let's go get her. Let's go get him. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Jessica shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. <laughs> Man, she just does a little dance, huh? Yep. <laughs> donk a donk. Bye. Oh, yeah, nice. There's just a car here, probably looking for the ones we sent off on the AML Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She'd chill me to the bone. I just hope this just a car doesn't mess up my uh, my operation. This is good news. She didn't. That crazy Asari is looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's give her the name. Um. I assume that means you want to end the mission or not. Yeah, you can look around and see if they're the items you might have missed. <laughs> mm-hmm. All good on that front, Chief. Did you want to sell the information to Pitney for? Uh, is there a point to that? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Yeah, I did. Anyway. No problem, man. Let's go to the police. I have something that'll encourage the check. I got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. How is there not more fear out of her Christ? Immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. Uh, I'll meet you aboard my ship. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Okay. The code I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. How is there not more fan art of her Christ? I never thought I'd she see is a swearing look like that. Continuous fuel. If you do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. 
I am honored. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. <laughs> oh, you're you? in for a fucking problem. Ananya! I need to speak to the Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. Found the murderer. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame Miss Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Mm. Uh, do we tell about the smuggling, or does it matter? You can if you want to. Does it benefit me, or does it not matter? I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter, I don't care. <laughs> Recruited, recruited Samara for the team. Yay! Become the ultimate badass. The ultimate badass. <laughs> Are you the ultimate badass? Do 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 Smart, powerful. I see right, you approve this one. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're gonna find when we hit the collector. Her eyes are up there. Be prepared for Jacob. whatever we encounter. Where shall we hmm. put A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. I was not looking at the titties, ma'am. Sure you weren't, sir. Because I was. I mean, you can romance Samara if you want to romance Samara. No. I just think Listen. you'll find someone else more interesting. Mm -hmm. I just think you'll yeah. find Zane more interesting. I like her an I like her animations and I like her style. But, um... I think that I think I'd choose interesting over aesthetic any day. Mm -hmm. um, for me, Samara kind of feels like a different kind of mother to Chakwas. Yeah. I am sorry, but she is mommy. Planning attack. Yeah. Just receiving data, still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? Yes, I remember. You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. I'll do it again. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my... Student, want to see him. Safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pact. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Okay. Guess who's on Tuchanka? Was it Rex? Rex. Yeah. 
Elizabeth. Do you remember Indian. her? Uh, remind me? She I was just one hoping, of yeah. the ex yeah, exogeny person. Surviving most of the journey left, but I still the attack. Make sure nothing is on the We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I should. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just want to reiterate it. Good luck and thanks. This hope is alive and well because of what you did. Thanks, Elizabeth. Oh. Jayert? Jarrett. Uh. You are. Oh, yeah. The artist only gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dan T TS Towers. You helped me get out of there. According to Sonny, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse Mercs trying to gun us down, and I wonder if you could help pass along our th my thanks. The way he moved, one of my... One was dead before he even knew what th he was there. He snapped another's neck and then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. That I agree with. Seeing him change my life woke up something in me I don't fully understand yet. I know what I'm going to do, but Solarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something else that lets me capture what I saw in him. That beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I also think I'm going to buy some nice clothes. So if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts that you think are appropriate, I'd appreciate that. Sincerely, Jair. 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 My buddy Jair. He's my buddy Jair. Here. He's gonna, he's gonna go play Royal High and become a fashion designer. Three months. Can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers. Get everyone at the same store or something. I assume everything's going well up here. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. She's teasing, teasing you. It be. She pushed your buttons to get a rise out yeah. of you. About time you were on the receiving end. Yeah, great. I still work by the intercom. It was not my intent yeah, you to did. hostility, Mr. Moreau, but you did instigate our interaction. Okay, but think of it this way. Shut up. That's it for <laughs> See you, Commander. Oh, the sexual tension. Bye. Funny you should say that. See, this is this is what I mean about you giving me hit that I <laughs> actually I can read all the way into. You say one thing and I know and I know the plot for Mass Effect 3. It's not really a secret, that one. She's on, like, the... Well, it was to material. me! <laughs> She's on, like, the material. Well, I haven't seen it, so it's a secret to me. I need to get... <sighs> Excuse me. We got any more people to talk to? Yep. Do you need something? Anything. A few minutes to talk? Certainly. <laughs> we need to fix your clothes. <laughs> we have got to fix your clothes. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, you're not a typical assassin, are you? You came straight out of the Matrix. You don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. Six? You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. Investment, that's cold. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They value me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. Um, okay. Hanar. Hanar. Excessively polite, worshipped Protheans. They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but 
I've never seen one move quickly outside of water or fire a gun. God, give the jellyfish a gun! So, we might have missed it, I'm not sure, but one of the ads that plays on Ilium talks about Blasto, the first Hannah Spectre. My god! And it's Blasto? Like a, it's a cheesy action movie, like. I love that. I love and, that. And, like, it's, apparently it's gotten controversy because it's racist. Towards. <laughs> towards Hannah and all sorts of stuff. Oh my god. Cancel culture in my Mass Effect when game. Uh, agree to this. The agreement was made under the compact. It was an honor for our family. The compact? We live on the Hannah homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the compact. Well, let's hear it all. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. I just realized he's got earrings as well. In this outfit. Oh my god. Um, are either of these particularly friendly or should we move on? No, those are pretty racist-y. Yeah, let's How move is your race on. going extinct? Overpopulation. Do you see them? That must sound trite to you. I don't. Humans developed massive the little before the problem became silver a things around his gill. Resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's your world like now? What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged oh, with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provided for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Damn. That sucks, bro. But the you bites. don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. Was that poetry? My apologies. Drill slip into memory so easily. What was that? Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Oh. Do you want me to tell you what it was? Um, sure. The Echo. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He, um, Drell slipped back into their memories and lived them as if they're happening. The Echo. Their own, so it's like the echo, but only for themselves. Yep. Oh, that's called remembering things. <laughs> yeah, but like they experience it as if it's happening in that moment. Yeah. So like, okay, he, he explains it that if he remembers getting shot, he remembers everything about getting shot. Yeah. Well, good on him. I have OCD too. Shepard, do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Show me what it would take. Yes. Come on, Storm. Let's talk. Shepard. How are you? <laughs> I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. Yeah, let's talk! Let's go, let's go. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, 
and that you seek to destroy the collectors. That is enough for me. I'm not curious? You don't want to know why the collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Mm hmm. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing mm -hmm. on Nos Nostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. Okay, I won't pray. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. You're Cerberus now. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back mm, to work. That's fair. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Also, yes, the the person she's hunting is her loyalty quest. You sure what? Is her loyalty quest. Weren't you originally stationed? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Shepard, need Have you got a minute? <coughs> nope. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of the I'm in the middle of the Talk to you later, Garrison. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs> uh, we just could talk to Grant and then we're done. Alright. I had to I have to wonder I had to wonder, honestly. Um, mm -hmm. when can I start actually romancing Thane? Uh well, after a couple of missions. Okay. 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 Admittedly, he is a little intense for me, but I think mm -hmm. he's really interesting, and I think that's the most important part. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought you'd be into him, because he's interesting. He's interesting. He's intimidating. Uh, I know that I am hitting above my pay grade with him. We've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck. What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her. And she <laughs> has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. <laughs> oh, no. We don't go to see Jack. No? No, she doesn't have anything to say when... They don't have anything to say to you when their loyalty missions are active. Mm-hmm. Shepard. Just checking Hi. in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just, just sitting here thinking. The picture, I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the Battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. And feel it ready to snap. I get it. Maybe I need context. Canrum isn't ringing Can a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Mm. Why is that funny? Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing mm. before. But now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Um. Is what about Garrus aggressive? Not really. It's just a point. Yeah, okay. Don't start anything like oh, that. it is. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Trouble on my ship. I don't Oops. hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Oop. Garrus Oops, counter. One Turian, mm -hmm. and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did. 
to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Oh, sure. So we're at 19 on the whoops counter. Well, we just gotta do one more thing and we can make it around 20. <sighs> to be completely fair, I think one of the earlier whoopses I asked you to put multiple whoopses on the counter for. Yeah, uh, we did have four whoopses at one point when I died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Right. Switch, switch your look, dude. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for us, right? Yep, that's it. Alright. So, that was Mass Effect Friday. Mass Effect Friday. Mass, sure Mass Effect Friday with the boys. We should what? do Mass Effect Saturday, Sunday? Saturday. Usually, no, but I, I think that we don't have enough times on the actual counter to make it a usual thing. Yeah. Sometime when the weekend hits, when we have enough time to mm -hmm. uh, actually sit down and do one of these long, 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 long playthroughs, mm -hmm. we get get ourselves a good chance to. But we're making good you know, progress. Hack out a solid chunk of time. Hmm. We're making good progress. Good, good. Um... We got we got some new people on board. Um, we met a lot of your your Lowenthal's, <laughs> which is uh, net positive. We got two new two new crew members. We uh -huh. um sent Olenko off to go get his uh, head slapped at the Citadel. Uh -huh. Um, I think it's gonna be really exciting when he goes back. He's like, I can't believe it. Shepard is working for Cerberus and betrayed us all. And everyone and Citadel's like, Yeah, Shepard came here and like fucking told us. Yeah. About it. Uh, so the only person we have left to recruit right now is Tully. Woohoo! So we might do that next time and then get to work on some of these. Oh, 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 oh. We do have Miranda's, Miranda's, Miranda's uh, loyalty yeah. quest. So Miranda's loyalty area. quest, and then Tali, and then yeah. Prob I want to wait until we get Grunt's loyalty quest because it's also on Tichanka. Okay. As you would ex as you would expect. As one would expect. All right. So that has been us for Mass Effect Two today. Mm -hmm. And um, it looks like we are steering towards a romance with Thane, and we'll see how that turns out. Also, uh, Yuri Lowenthal, contact us. Yeah, Yuri Lowenthal, hit us up. Um, we'll, we'll, I'm gonna be real with you. If Yuri Lowenthal actually hit us up, we would probably combust? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that sounds about right. Yeah. Probably spontaneous human combustion. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal, if you want to see a, a real life example of human combustion, hit us up. If, and, you, would like, um, if you would like to see an elf girl and a wizard boy explode. Yeah, uh, for science. Just make sure that you get the, get the will to our folks and get mm -hmm. the information to the university so that we did mm -hmm. not uh, go up in flames in vain. So. Uh, thanks for being with us as we sort of work through what being a streamer means, start honing our craft. I mean, um, I've been streaming for over a year now, but... <laughs> well, I say I say we in a collective sense. I, I don't actually we? speak for you. The royal we? The royal we. we. Well, more like the, the team-up we. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for you by yourself. That's true. Join us next time for... Uh, making everyone happy, which I, uh, from what I've heard, makes everyone less likely to die. Yeah. Which I think is a good lesson for real life too. Mm -hmm. So until next time, make make yourself happy, so you're less likely to die. I think. Yep. That's it. That's it. That's the secret. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. That's it.
When oh, insert plugs yet. here. Insert plugs here. Insert plugs here. Uh, yeah, insert huh? plugs. We're not muted yet. Yeah, 